Young M. Cryptor, any word on Sares from DLTS SDCC who raced against me? This is I was substitute for Team Jinsoku performance driver as I won by default resulting in win for Team Jinsoku and driver Adam Blitz star as he heads to the hospital to witness his sister Jessica giving birth of a baby girl named Jedi. This is I got a hold of RDK3000 TriStar establishments, as Rex X Cryptor from Canbordy City told me in a video call via FaceTime. He said that Sares has been involved in a legal street race in which he said that was a mistake as he got teleported without warning, the cops disabled his Mustang. As Sares got arrested as he, well, let me put it this way, will not be heading back to Elite City Metro as he to be sentenced to death for illegal street race as it's the harshest punishment in the world, no matter if it's by accident or intentional. This is it's a serious blow to DLTS SDCC, as I look at the news items, I receive one in the past 15 minutes, that the Canbordian court has ordered the Illatopian tuning firm based in Elite City, DLTS SDCC to pay 1 billion Canber coins, or 15 million Illatopian Elios. 150 Hextapolian Hexis once we depart at 20 hundred hours to Hex City, Hextapolia is per request by Optic Illito. Yes, this is we were originally to head to Canbordi City however we had to alter our plans however not due to protest against subject you mentioned regarding Sares from DLTS. This is because one esports player, Splix, a friend of mine, told Optic Alito said that he considers to head to Hex City. Hex to Polia, this results in a vote in which out of a 10 team roster, 7 of us voted Hex City as 3 others voted for Canbordi City this as we alter the plans, and to head to Hex City, Hex to Polia as we depart at 8pm tonight Elite City time translating to 7am Hex City on the 10th. This is Splix needs to check out the restaurant his other friend goes to as he finds that online the day prior. This is you chubby H Cryptor and the RDK6 to give the clock in subject to the waiter or staff at the restaurant you'll be heading to as I went there just yesterday as I do know one of the digital clocks was not HY1K compliant as it suffered a very minor HY1K but as it's a display issue as it showed the wrong date on the hex calendar as that needs to be addressed immediately otherwise the authorities to seize and shut down the restaurant tomorrow for a HY1K compliant violation. This after the Elftronic and Alarm Company raided, seized and shut down for ATRD 1 m compliance violation. This as we will head to the restaurant immediately as we'll have lunch there also. Opticalito is at Digi Hex meeting with the esports gamers from Hex City Shock as I got informed in past 5 minutes. They to compete tonight at 8pm Hex City, 7am RDK and Elite City. This is I was informed of the subject in the past 2 minutes when you arrive. Thank you Ratesa P Crypto. This is the authorities came for HY1K compliance inspection and they are pleased that the new clock is HY1K compliant as they are giving you a reward for helping us take down the subject that was not HY1K compliant as the Hexstar will remain open for the foreseeable future. How much in reward? 2.5 million Hextapolian Hexes. That equals to 250,000 Elitopian Elios, as that to be used for the RDK6 for expenses during the trip, some to be given to Optic Elito. We must not forget the Optic Elito as we to split the 2M5KC Hexes, 250k Elios to us and them. This is I knew you must be visiting from Elite City, Elitopia, as I note the Auto Olympics in progress over there however I am shocked of the subjects involving Sares from DLTS who went to the portal to Cambodia City. And Raptor tuning driver gets shot to death by DLTS worker and his Alfa Romeo crashed as that shocks the Paterans at the Hexstar who came to spectate as it was a rebroadcast of the event on Hex Race. This as they also cheer on Optic Elito and some route for Elite City Shock during the ELG Game Jam Esports Mania Splix Blitz 2021, EY 1021, Hex Year 1000 Grand Finals in a viewing party as there were celebrations at the Hexstar by OTE fans as that was also a rebroadcast but on Hex Gamer TV. Yes, as we are ready to order, I would like a double bacon cheeseburger, with fries, and cola with breaded matzo sticks on the side. Drickster, no wonder you ordered a large pizza, 
that have 12 slices however you told the waiter to have one sixth of the pizza, two slices what we exactly want is that to be for all six of us, as you ordered wings for us also. Yes, this as I checked my notebook on the toppings on the pizza once we had pizza while we were at Zen Pizza in past week or two. This as I do note the televisions at the Hex are tuned to Hex Gamer TV as Hex City Shock takes on Optic Alito as the eSports match to occur at the top of the hour. Razer P. Crypter, what is the current time? 1953 Hex City, 0853 RDKTSR and Elite City. Hold up. I just received a news alert on my phone from Hex Topolion News Network, HNN, formerly Hex News 24, also Elito News 24 just now, concerning the esports team in Webchester, it's not Webchesterfield Esports Club, as it's concerning Webchesterfield Rain, it to rename as Optic Webchesterfield. As we must alert Optic Elito of this at conclusion of the OTE and HXS match as that to start in 7 minutes. This as I am alerting RDK 3000 Trista Hex Topolion Unit Division, also its Webchester unit in Webchester Field with a high priority signal also to the main HQ in Elite City, Elitopia, in fact, to all RDK bureaus with a high priority and urgent signal as that needs immediate attention. This as it got sent just now. Chubby H Crypter, that will sound the RDK sirens on some RDK 3000 Tristar establishments even in Canbordi City, Xenopolis City, Altronic City, Webchester Field, and here in Hex City, plus at the main HQ in Elite City. This as it got sounding just now. This as I am going to telephone the RDK 3000 Tristar Hextapolian Unit Division to shut the f up with the sirens. Apologies for foul language. As for you, the P. Critter. Call the main bureau in Elite City and reroute the head leader Ryan M. Critter to kill the sirens. The rest of RDK 6. Go message the fellows in the other establishments to put the all stop to the RDK sirens. Okay. Anyhow concerning the siren activation, who sounded the alarm? Tommy H. Crypto from the RDK 6. He's in Hat City, Hat Scorpio, dining out at the restaurant. With the RDK 6, he's being given a warning and result. Anyhow if he does it again during the trip, he will be given a strike and once he gets a strike, he will be forced to head back to Elite City to surrender his belongings as he to lose it for a week as that goes against his monthly record. Crap. Strike 1. That to go against my monthly record as I, oh wait, my bad, scratch that, it's a warning, and not a strike, to clarify, it's a warning and not a strike as I was given a warning reminding to not to do it again as that is the one and only warning as subsequent events will result in strikes. Correct, as the warning was issued toward you by Ryan M. Crypter in Elite City as he knows about this, don't do that ever again. Although, you would have sent the same report but with a flag stating not to sound the RDK sirens as you can set a flag to omit certain subjects for example sounders as I only send similar reports with a flag only to page the fellows via pagers and send them push notifications on the mobiles and keep the sirens and sounders off. Thanks for the tip, young M. Crypto, as I check the TVs, the esports match to occur in a couple moments as I note this TV where we sit, as it was tuned to HNN as I tuned that TV to Elito News 24 as I do note it's Elito News 24 International Hextopolia as I flip the channel, bam. The domestic feed. I assume this on cable, what channel number? HNN on channel 55, Elito News 24 International Hextopolia on channel 56 and the domestic feed from Elite City on channel 57. RDK 3000 Trista TV Service Hextopolia on channel 58, Alftronic feed on channel 59 and the main feed from Elite City on channel 60. Raymond Blake reporting from the Game TV Studios on the pre-match report of OTE and HXS. This on Elito News 24. That's the profile check in brief of Optic Elito from Elitopian League of Gaming and Esports Game Jam League in Hex City Shock from Hex Topolian Esports League, dubbed Hex Gamer. This is a best of seven in Battle Blitz Warts as that is a special esports match during the Quad City Tour as the esports match to occur at DG Hex in Hex City, Hex Topolia with viewing party at DG Square Elitosat in Elite City. This as Marky Crypto will spectate in the viewing party as with Scott Elita Star, as he stars plays as he to live stream it too on his live streaming channel. Marky Crypto from Elite City, this is Chubby H Crypto on the tour in Hex City, Hex Topolia as it's 1958 over there, how's your bro Scott doing? He is excited, same toward I, this is I to co-host Scott's live stream. Yes, this is I as he stars plays, Scott Elitistar, as for you, Chubby H Crypter, how's the RDK6 doing? The RDK6 are alright as we are waiting for food we ordered in the past 10 to 15 minutes. Hope one of the RDK6, for example Raid Sir P Crypter to watch my livestream as I am starting it now. 
Game on, IMSE Star Plays. We welcome to the viewers as we have a special guest, my bro Mark E. Crypter from RDK3000 TriStar. This has rates of P. Crypter is on his laptop, unsure if he is watching Scott Elita Star's live stream. Actually, I am live streaming HNN as I stream SE Star's Plays live stream on my phone, as Pacalo P. Crypter has tuned the radio to 100 FM being the hits radio station, playing Cascada's song Evacuate the Dance Floor as Drexter S. Crypter has grabbed out his tablet and checks weather information as same does I as I and he needs to check the weather for rest of evening, and night, and for tomorrow. For Mark Zanius, 0900 hours, 54.1 EMT, 1300 TRX, Tuesday, August 10, 2021. Corey Zanders, it's 0900 hours Elite City, translating to 20 hundred hours in Hex City, Hex Topalia, OTE and HXS competing now at DG Hex during their visit. I just clocked 5,000 kilometers, 12,500 Kina Nitros on my car already, as once I was given the new car. It was well already past the break-in cycle of 3,200 kilometers as it's already at 4,000 kilometers, 10k Kina Nitros. What is your odometer reading? Same as yours, Mark Zaniels, anyhow there's an event in progress, part of the Alito Auto Olympics, being the Rally Cross, but not the year Rally Cross in which the drivers race in their Rally Cross cars that uses the powerful turbocharged engine. Some being hybrid gas electric with powerful electric motors, the same on my 2022 Flex Fera E-Hybrid R-Cross Blue Turbo PHEV Multi-Fuel Dual Source Sport Hybrid, as I tune the radio to a little Eurobeat 100. Savage just texted me the favorite song is about to be played as I check vehicle infotainment. Fera. How can I help, Corey Zanders? Station change, 100.00 MHz on the FM band. Okay, ERMX FM, 100.00, Elito Eurobeat 100. Where are we heading to, Mark? Heading toward M75 westbound to Slick Start, Corey. Bad idea, Mark. There's a street race competition quarterfinals to be held later on. Traffic is down from 10 lanes to 4 lanes plus there's construction in progress. We could end up in a traffic jam during rush hour. I know an alternate route as I learned it just yesterday, follow my car as I to send the directions to your car. Good idea, Corey Zanders, anyhow we to head to the Slick Arena, just next to Slick Dome and the new eSports Arena and Slick Star under construction to be called DG Slick, Elite City Shot taking on Slick Star Gladiators in a little roller hockey tournament 2021, EY 1021 this afternoon. I got tickets for the hockey match. Yes. The shot play today. Mark, I didn't check the roller ball hockey schedule until now. Although the name of the roller ball hockey team, Elite City Shot, this as shot sounds like shock, as we refer the other team. Wait a minute, you referring to Elite City Shock, the eSports team captain, Shaker, Mickey Daniels, his cousin, and Zen Racing Cooper aka David Daniels' elder brother Steven Daniels is captain of Elite City Shot in roller ball hockey. The entire roster of ELS plus the entire roster of the baseball team, Elite City Swifters to spectate the roller ball hockey match. Yes. Anyhow the rollerball hockey matches to be televised on Alito Sports 1 and 2, on Hockey Night in Alitopia, in which you may have heard the theme song as we link the infotainments, the broadcast is in English. With exception of Saturdays in which is a bilingual English elitish broadcast as the elitish translation is Hisunej 2 Iapia. Hisunej 2 Iapia? Yeah. Teo Aoot Oyoto Aishaoyi. However it's pleasant in Elite City, weather in Slickville is quite unpredictable, since it's located next to the mountains, and Slickville Ski Resort, get your rain gear at hand cause weather is quite unpredictable, as I do see some dark clouds along the route, and once I went to Slickville yesterday, it was raining hard and quite windy. This is the same time, it was sunny and mild in Elite City. This is I check what's on the Elitopian Roller Ball Hockey Tournament for the next several hours, to be Elite City shot taking on Slickville Gladiators at 1300 hours RDK and Elite City, Midnight Hex City, and it'll be televised in Elitopia on Elito Sports 1 and 2, and domestic broadcast in Hex Topalia on HSN 2. This is, our food is on the way, put your laptops, tablets, and devices in sleep and put it aside as we must have the table cleared for the food and drinks.
This is Ken Bordy News Prime 1930. I am Sin Paben Chico. I am Arthur Imoakin. We are broadcasting live from Canbor News Center Studio KB784 at Canbor Telemedia Central Headquarters in Canbor D City. Headlines right now. Now, RDK3000 TriStar Today Canbor D Prime Edition that was aired at 1900 hours KBT is into halftime as I must need to get the news from Canbornet's Canbor D News 1930 as the television is just tuned to Canbornet 1. Mark Zaniels. Why are you streaming Canbernet 1 from Canbor D City? On channel 1027 on Illitosable as Canber News 730 Evening News is on. For demonstration purposes, I will tune it back to previous source in several moments. By the way, this on the Illito 5 Plus app. Wait a minute, this comes from the television provider, and we can stream our TV channels on Illitosable and Illito Fiber on the go. Yes. Right so pay crypto, what are you streaming now? Canber News 1930 on Canbernet 1, from Canbor D City via Ductilito 5 Plus Service Channel 1027. I can stream many channels including Illito News 24, WBC News, Game TV, and RDK 3000 TriStar Television Service Main, Webchester, Canbor D even Altronic and Hextapolian feeds. This is we were discussing Sigma's old time and new alpha seconds in the past half hour, this is a Sigma equal to 4 days, 400 choice, 9600 deci newts, 96 hours, as I know the 4 days being the 4 nature's elements as I call, Terra, Aqua, Arrow and Fera, meaning Earth, Water, Air, and Fire. This is I come up with the time system that I made the concept well, sometime before Sigma's old time, since 2017, Elite Year 1017, 5 years ago today, named stars time as 96 hours equal a stars, this is 300 stars equal a star year. 1 meter is equal 25 stars or 100 days, 1 catrice is 100 stars or 400 days, and 1 rumble being 250 stars being 1 elite metric year, 1000 days. Well, any subunits of the stars? There will be one variant, star raid time, as it divides the stars into 48 zens, 24 hours equal 12 zens, each zen equal to 200 decinutes of 36 seconds each. Yes, however to be another variant I come up with, 1 stars to equal to 80 Lewis, each divided into 120 decinits, as we adopt decinits from tracks time as I call it as stars jazz time. This is there are 40 quarts into 1 decinit, as 1 quarts equal to 0.9 seconds. Good idea, Jessica J. Crypter. I would adopt the variant that Jessica J. Crypter said as I to make some amendments, as we will be heading to Altronic City in the next stop, 1 Lua equal to 500 Deltros and 1 Deltros equal to 100 Trokens. 100 deltros equal 1 choy in elite metric time, this as I call as stars ye time. This as I to call the following time systems that can be used for stars time or other time systems or when using for non-clock applications i.e. timing a race, a sports match or a musical performance or concert, as I call the following unit, 1 omega equal to 10 deci newts, 6 minutes. As 1 che equal to 15 minutes, 25 deci newts, and 1 theta equal to 10 minutes. In sports, in the Canbor D Premier League KP16, 2021 season, it'll gonna be a rematch of the KP14, 2019 Championship Finals. Yes, it was a heated one back then. This is Canbor D City Football Club to take on Canber Kicks is the first half to begin at the top of the hour in 12 minutes at Canber Stadium in Canbor D City. This is the football matches to begin at 2000 KBT as a game on. Go Optic El Edo and Hex City Shock. Get into the game into eSports. EGAD, whoever put that onto the teleprompter must be held accountable. We do want to apologize for such unbelievable scenario that as the teleprompter operator is listening to live stream of esports match outside of Canberra World Areas as he get excited of his cousin is an esports player of the esports team from outside the Canberra World. This as I do want to apologize for this as I blame the teleprompter operator. Correct Arthur, that is embarrassing to millions of Canbor DEINs, as a result, he will be, be reassigned to studio control operations as someone else will fill in for Steve.
It sure was a close and very contested one but we shut out HXS 3 to 2 in best of 5. Yes, as it was a close one indeed. Yes, anyhow current time is 10.30 p.m. local, 11.30 a.m. Elite City, anyhow splits, I do heard from your cousin from Canberra D City, Steve Rogers, this is my cousin Tracy Phelps from Kronos who messaged me regarding your cousin, he have put up a remark supporting us, anyhow ironically for Hex City Shock 2, on the teleprompter, as he works at Canberra Telemedia in Canberra D City in which it's after 8.30 p.m. over there, and once we watched the video, it was quite very funny once Arthur Imoken, host of Canberra D News Evening Edition on Canberra Net Domestic Feed, said the remark immediately once map 5 starts once we were tied 2 to 2 at 7.48 p.m. KBT, 9.48 p.m local, 10.48 a.m. Elite City, and 0 seconds. Yes, however the co-host sent up and Chico saw the remark and gets shocked, as she apologized on the remark, as Steve gets reassigned, however he has since quit in the past 15 minutes as he storms out of Canberra Telemedia as he to apply for a job at either RDK 3000 TriStar Canberra D or Canberra D Broadcast Media Corporation tomorrow. Same incident occurred at WBC Broadcast House in Webb Kesterfield as teleprompter operator gets suspended without pay but my cousin Mark Rogers who work as news anchor for WBC News ignores the remark and moves on to on-topic subjects. However how we start the epoch of stars time is stars zero. To count from 0000, 0, 0, 0 elite metric date elite epoch, being the start of the elite metric date, elite year 0 elite day 0, first alpha EY0 as today is 373 134 EMD and it's 64.6 EMT right now, 1550 tracks time, to be stars 93. 283 and Zen 31 deci newt 150 or Lua 52 deci newt 110 or around 170 to 180 deltros, this being 1030 hours RDK TSR and Elite City, 2230 Hex City on Etna 5th, 1000 XE, Theta 8th, EY 1021, August 10th, 2021 on a Tuesday as we must pick up the esports gamers from Opticalito and drop off to the hotel as then we must report back to RDK 3000 TriStar Hex to Popian Unit Division no later than 2300 hours Hex City, noon RDK, and Elite City so we can get ready to sleep. Oh my god! The information the RDK6 who's visiting Hex City, Hex Topalia and which was relayed by Hex X Cryptor then Ralph B Cryptor in Elite City Elitopia at the main HQ further relayed by Raymond P Cryptor in Web Chesterfield. Stating the time system concept similar to Sigma's old time but there are significant differences. Corey E Cryptor, come quick, this is urgent. Yes, Rex X Cryptor? Read what's on the video monitor as I show what's on the monitor on my laptop on the video monitor. Stars time? This as something was printed off from the printer as I read the information, this as it's not the idea stolen from Amanda from Ty Gems, who's the creator of Sigma's old time, as it was developed by Raid Zutter P. Critter months to a year prior. This as I got a telephone Canberra LPK 784 and Amanda from KBE 0232, you go page the RDK6 and Hex X Cryptor in Hex City, plus Stefan AT Cryptor, and Raymond Z Cryptor and others, plus the fellows at the main HQ in Elite City, Ryan M Cryptor and Milos Z Cryptor for a video conference. As I uplink the three-way telephone call to the video conference in the audio feed. Zen Z Cryptor, why are you here so early? To attend a very important and urgent high priority video conference that is in progress right now. Okay. Zen Z Cryptor, why the rush at 4 a.m.? Something that is important and urgent I need to attend. Video conference? Yes, that is those of high priority. Okay, I am signed in and gonna go launch the app and go straight into the video conference. Anyhow, that of course concludes the meeting of the topic regarding stars time and the relation and comparison to see my soul time. Anyhow, we are here also here for another subject about low priority and we say that to the end and we 
Ten secret to how there is something to say. Thank you, Ryan M. Crypter from Elite City. Anyhow, since I am here, I want you to show this that I obtained in past couple to several days, as I push my chair back and adjust the webcam as Oliver D. Crypter and Mickey R. Crypter are setting things up as we speak. However, concerning the helmets from left to right top to bottom on the shelf, the Carbon Autosport helmet, the Pro Rally helmet, the other racing helmet with a wording street tuning, the Pro Bike helmet and the three open face helmets, the Bose Sozoku on the left, the red on the right and the one I am holding, the blue. Zen Z Crypto, the crystal blue open face helmet, I do have one of those once I ride my scooter as it's an electric scooter with a hydrogen fuel cell range extender. Anyhow I do hear that my younger cousin over in Robloxia is in terrible shape. He had to wear diapers since he suffers from some infection or bleeding from the bladder as he needed to see a doctor, and he to be hospitalized as a result, Zen Z Crypto. Do check on him later on in the day plus remark on the pro bike helmet, I do have the one too for riding my bicycle. Oh dear, I Stefan AT Cryptor is alarmed of the news. This is you Chubby H Cryptor please stay informed of the developments, as for you, Zen Z Cryptor. You at some time must head to the hospital to talk to the panda later on today, or at least immediately after we end the video conference if you have spare time. Anyhow concerning the helmet, Autosport helmet, I do have one of those, as I used it once I race on my free time. This is I Milos Z Cryptor. And why am Cryptor? We are mine the development as well from Lake City and RDK main bureau. Follow up to the helmet I note, Autosport helmet, I however use it primarily for riding my motorcycle. This as I young M Critter note the helmet in subject, the Rally Sport helmet, I use it to race on my electric sports car. Okay, this as I Zen Z Critter will show you two more items, this related to the subject that is coming up this week as I to discuss in a minute as I show you this helmet, as it's a Neon Autosport helmet. Hey. That is exactly the one as with my helmet once I ride on my Raidzicle, in which is a decent motorcycle. Though it's in a different color. Yes, as I do note, Raid Zutter P Crypter as I show this last item as it's the backpack, as it's the KSI Neon Gamer backpack. KSI? Who is he? Famous singer, as he and the recording studio to host a concert here in Robloxia at a special venue as the event to occur later on this week on Friday the 13th of August, 2021 at 1900 hours RDK 3000 TriStar clock time, as that is the same time here in Critter City and the time in Elite City, Illitopia, 95.8 EMT, 2300 tracks time, 6133, mil time, and mark 115 EZT, on Theta 11th, EY 1021, ETA 5th on the EDC, Elite Day 224, Zol 31, Elite Week 22 Indie Sci 4s at Ford 7 Earth, Zickle 112 Day 55, 78 95 EMD Millennial, 373 137 EMD Elite, 0 400 KBT John Lok 14 DP on KP 16, Canboard EEI an hour 20 KKT, 16.6 KMT and straight at 8 bells Canboard E Solar Time, 1052959 Kiatro can say TRCX. 2348053.958 ATRRT, pardon the typo on the sign, by at 100,005 Tuesday, pretty in 24th, 2738 at Rat, 6 in the morning Hex City and Hex Time on Etna 9th, Hex Year 1000, 25.0 HMT, 2 o'clock HOT, 365433 Hex Metro Date, 1312 Hex Octal Day, 7141226 in Base 10, Midnight Muni Kingdom on 24th Grand Vans MY 848, 5 AM on 14th Bread UA KLN 396, and the times and dates on the Saturday and date systems, Canberra Method, and the time on Splix Octal Time and Dual Splix Time and on the Splix Date and Elite Octal Dates, in short, this Friday at 7 o'clock in the evening. 1900 hours RDK 3000 TriStar Clock Time also time in Elite City and here in Crypto City, to be the Kai Launch Party in Roblox Virtual Concert with newest album all over the place to repeat hourly on the hour until Monday the 16th at 2 at night RDK, ELC, KRC. Pardon the chimes on the computer, it's just when 0, 0500 hours RDK TSR on the 10th. This was set to auto as the chimes on the Jinx Time Excite series in the background. It did not chime as the chimes are set to off before I join the video conference as I do not want it to chime while in a video conference. 
This is I heard the time gunfire, as it's 1600 hours here in Hex City, and it must be 1400 hours KBT, 37.5 EMT, 0900 TRX and 375 Kiatrokens ATRCX. Yes, this is I must get come coffee as it's time for my coffee break. This the same goes for Ryan M. Critter as he just went out the door of the administration office and rude to break room Delta downstairs to get some coffee. Game on. I am Shaker from Elite City Shock. To the RDK6, where is Opticalito? Mickey Daniels, please get off the video chat server immediately. It is used only for RDK3000 TriStar personnel and not toward eSports gamers. Chat to raid Zutter P. Critter instead. Whoops. My bad, I didn't knew the use is restricted, I do want to apologize, Milo Z Cryptor as I am leaving this video call now. Wow, 11 o'clock a.m. already in our hometown, Elite City. 1500 hours universal time, 625 Kiatricans, 50 days into the Alftronic metric millennium? Yes, as once we depart an hour ago, it was like 9 p.m. in Hex City, must be 10 p.m. over there right now. Yes, Splix and Tron, as we are heading to Canbordi City but we are bypassing the stop in which it's after 8 p.m. KBT on Sterinian.11 dip on KP16 on the Canber calendar, translating to Thetan 9, EY1021 on the Alito calendar. As it's 62.5 EMT and after 1500 TRX and UTC in which it's after 9 PM in Webb Chesterfield as we are going non-stop to Altronic City. Altronic Republic in which some of our roster was born in Altronic City who emigrated to Illatopia in later years including Splix and Tron this as we are bypassing Canbordi City in the next one and a half hours and arriving to Altronic City in the next four hours. Four hours. Good thing I have some things to keep me entertained also I got some books to read. I am hungry, do you have any crisps? Yes, chubby H. Critter as I have plenty. Which flavor? Barbecue, baked not fried. Okay, I do have some of those, as I to hand it to you, chubby. Along with the drink, cola zero sugar in a 710 millimeter bottle. This assumingly a six pack of a little cola zero sugar, as that equal to about 11.1 volts in EMTS units, and about 1167 kilitros, 1.17 litros in alftronic in units. 24 ounces. Close to 25 Imperial fluid ounces. This is Alftronikens used the Imperial measurement system before 1888, as that was switched to the common metric system in use in many parts of the world today, as with the civil calendar since 1283, as the Julian calendar was used before 1600 as that was switched to the Gregorian calendar and Conventional time was used in Alftronic Republic until 2008 as that was switched to the pandecimal system Tempa Spatium Sequence Time, until an Alftronic invariant of it called the Alftronic Time and Measurement Systems, ATMS began in use on Wednesday, March 6, 2013 as Viascan 2000 on the TSD occurred on July 7, 2012, as Niatrocant 997 occurred on 997,000 Myatrocants ATRCX, 2729288 ATR Route, Friday April 5, 2013. Epics of ATRCX, Alftronic Clocks Time and ATR RT Alftronic Ratar Date being in the summer of year 718 BCE with year 0 day 0 ATR Root being on summer solstice of said year, and the day 0 on the day count 34 days later. This when the area was first discovered by accident when the ship ran aground to some land that was not part of the journey, as that was the first Alftronic and settlers, as over a month later. There was a raid by the Spinel and Crystal Gem fighters as they and the natives engage in a war for the entire day, that is called a Million Trocant War, that lasted 24 hours resulting in the Spinel and Crystal Gem fighters to surrender in peace as those became the first Alftronic and immigrants. Where do they originate from? From what is now Pekka Finland Republic, to be Pekka Finland Kingdom in September 2021, just a month from now. Time zone is UTC, capital is the Kvart City, Stiven Province, and largest city is Pearl City, Zemchug Province, 
official languages in Pekka Finland is English, German and Russian, as it's located 2,000 kilometers south of Alftronikan Republic. Yes, also you must take note of the units. A metro equal to 0.8572945.6 meter, 1 gree equal to 786.4596.56 grams, a litra equal to 608.27 liter, a tune is 360 degrees, 1 flan is 1 amp, 1 chart is 0.1 degrees Celsius. 1 san equal to 2.037 to the power of 21 candela, and 1 boldo equal to 0.78645965 moles, this correspond to the pandecimal names of metra, krav, the cubic length unit, turn, flux, estes, soul and body. Anyhow there is one unit not in the pandecimal system but in the AMTS as a litro equal to 608.27 mm, 1 kshalitra. This is 1 troken equal to 0.0864 second. 0.1 kino choy, 0.24 decian, 10 of these equal a kino choy, a metric second as 1000 trokens, a kiotrokan equal to a dino choy, 1 minute 26.4 seconds, a metric minute, 10 kiotrokans equal a choy, that is 24 deci newts or 14 minutes 24 seconds. 50 kts equal 5 choys, 120 deci newts, 1 hour 12 minutes. 100 kts equal 10 choys, 240 deci newts, 2 hours 24 minutes. 250 kiotrokens equal 6 hours, and 1000 kiotrokens, a miotrokent is a day, 24 hours, 100 choys, 2400 deci newts, 10 of these equal a metric week, a viotrokent, as a jtrokent equals an elite metric season, about 3.3 months and 1 miotrokent equal to 1000 days. An elite metric year or about 2.738 solar years. Remark, 1 macro equals 0.84729456 meter as he said a number 5 not a number 4 after the 0.8 to this as the measurement of speed, macros per troken equal to 9.80665 meters per second, as the common use is see macros per troken equals to 0.35303934 kilometers per hour or 0.21182364 kananitros per choy. This is I do the math, 60 kinonitros per choy, 100 kilometers per hour equal to about 283 CIO matros per trokant. Yes, however on the freeways, speed limit is 300 CIO matros per trokant, 63.5 kinonitros per choy, close to 106 kilometers per hour. This unlike speed limit on motorway 1 in Hextapalia is 130 km per hour and part of motorway 75 from Elite City to Riker and Ilatopia being 75 Kina Nitros per choy, 125 km per hour. Though lane restrictions enforced due to the Ilito at Olympics as speed limit is down to 50 Kina Nitros per choy, 83 km per hour. Correct rate Zutter P. Critter. However in the country we are heading to, Altronican Republic, the common measurement system and the EMTS plus the Ilatopian. Canboard EEI and Hextapolian calendar and time systems are allowed but is for secondary use for citizens however option for primary use for the tourists. This includes conventional time as you can set your watches to UTC. Also they do ban conventional cars as part of subject similar to Illatopian Vision 2020s but on a larger scale and different approach. This goes the same for motorcycles as only electrics and PHEVS are allowed for most. This means I can't bring my raid sickle? Even though it's a gas-electric hybrid e-assist but it runs on E100 ethanol fuel and not gasoline. They do permit exclusion of vehicles that run on alternate fuel not based on fossil fuels for one example ethanol fuel and biodiesel or other biofuels. This as you can bring your motorcycle but once fuel runs low, law states that it must be refueled with the same fuel type this being E100 ethanol. This as in Latopia and Altronic Republic, can be made from sugarcane or algin. Thank god my Raidzicle has just passed vehicle inspection as I do have the helmets and Z-Cryptor mentioned but my style. This is your car, parked at RDK Alftronic unit parking and my car, inspection went through in a jiffy, same goes for other cars in the RDK6 being PHEV, battery electric or hydrogen fuel cell and the Octicolito vehicles, this as I note the Alftronic clock and on the clock on the vehicle dash. 
approaching metric hour 8 in about 1.2 choice, 12 kyotrikans, or 18 minutes as it's 18.54 UTC in conventional time, 14.54 elite city and RDK time and almost new Kanbor day in 6 minutes, 23.54 KBT. I knew it. 6 to 12 midnight KBT on 11th Dipion KP16 almost the 12th of Dipion, from Sterinian Da to Darwinota Day. Anyhow for some reason, the speed limit signs in Altronican units on the top, it also have the speed limit in kilometers per hour too beneath on slightly smaller font. This is I assume it's the law to have common metric units for international tourists as with Illatopia being Kina Nitros per choy in kilometers per hour. Stephanie T. Crypter, where is the RDK6? They just went inside, but they entered through the alternate entrance beside the parking lot for VIP. How about Opticalito? They are at the hotel, unpacking at a room they rented. Now, Max SD Crypter, please tell the RDK6 about the important Alftronic in esports. I already know of the event, the Altronic in Metric Millennial Esports Tournament Grand Finals, Optictronic vs DG Hextron Gaming, to begin at 800 KTS or 80.0 EMT, 1920 TRX, 1912 UTC in conventional time, 1512 RDK, and Elite City, as in the past few Kiotrokins, 3 minutes. My bro shaker, Mickey Daniels from Elite City Shock, an Illatopian esports team from Elite City Metro in which I and he reside, by the way, he's at a viewing party at DG Square Illatosats Esports Arena section, he messaged me of the subject as the esports match to be best of 9. First to 5 in the most popular video game in Altronic City as it's still unheard of in Illatopia including in Elite City Metro, Call of Duty from Activision with rules and playout similar to Call of Duty League, as it to be a contested match. That is correct, Max SD Cryptor. I will alert the RDK6 of this immediately. Also telephone Stefan Rogers Cell who is Splix from Optic Elito, along with Rex X Cryptor from Canbordi City, but to inform of the reminder of the trip as it's midnight KBT 12th Dippy and KP16 as the time siren just blaring now also to act as signal the esports match to occur very soon. This is you do that immediately, as I note the time on the vehicle dash, right on the dot, as I see Stefan, he went inside as he grabs his smartphone this is I drive to the venue where the subject gets played in 12 minutes, this is I paged the RDK6 of the match just now. However using a feature on my phone that sends a reminder to the RDK6 at a specific time as that was armed to 1500 hours RDK just seconds ago. This is I switch the drive mode from hybrid auto F cell to e save F cell as I have to switch on the hydrogen fuel cell since I need to disperse hydrogen fuel as I hadn't used hydrogen fuel for 800 kilometers. 2000 Kina Nitros also I am listening to Elito News 24 domestic via Altronic City Relay as Elito News 24 international Altronic can be reached as well. Although it's the law that I need to have the broadcast on the audio portion only when vehicle is in gear position other than PIER, N, D, or B, as it's not only the law in Elitopia but also here in Altronic Republic as well. This is the fines for distracted driving is 1000 Altronican dollars and license suspension on the spot, 781 Illatopian Elios 25 Elio cents compared to 400 to 500 Elios in Illatopia plus 2 to 3 points on the license. Coming up at 3.40 p.m. Elite City, 8.20 KTS in Altronic City, 82.0 EMT, 1968 TRX, in the Lighto News 24 exclusive, we have an interview with the team coach of Optictronic at Digitron in Altronic City in Altronic Republic. However we begin with a developing story from early this morning from Elite City as there was a reported raid at Raptor tuning backup location as it was reportedly been done by few members of DLTS SDCC just 10 kilometers. 25 Kina Nitros east of Elite City that included an explosion at the facility causing a fire resulted in 1.2 million Elios in damages but no injuries arise from the event but the blast killed several horses as there's a ranch next door as the owner of the ranch told Elito News 24 he was awoken at 5 a.m. to some boom and horses acting crazy immediately after. Oh my god, 5 a.m. this morning? This must be my uncle's ranch that the subject occurred next to the ranch that the explosion killed the horses. This is I go call my uncle Bob Daniels of this immediately. What? 0500 hours RDK in Elite City? That is 32.5 EMT and 0900 TRX, 325 Kia Trokens ATRCX. This is I go text my cousin Stephanie over at the ranch pretty soon just to see if the horses are alright, even cooties. However RDK6 and Optic Elito has already arrived at the venue where the subject to occur in several moments. Anyhow DLTS was warned of this in past day or two, concerning firearm shooting incident during racing competition and the raw fish incident toward Savage, DLTS could risk expulsion and disqualification from the Elito Olympics over this incident.
1512 RDK TSR and Elite City, 80.0 EMT, 1920 TRX as the Altronic and Esports match in subject gets in progress right now with viewing party over at DG Square Illitosat with my bro Scott Illitostar doing his live streaming as that is also in progress. Also one Illito at Olympics event. Drift competitions in progress also since the last 12 minutes however DLTS SDCC is already disqualified for the event, but for the Alito Auto Olympics, we to wait 20 choice or 4 hours 48 minutes, 480 decinutes as the announcement to come at 20 hundred hours tonight, quad zeros, Raptor Tuning and Savage, Dewey and a few others are indeed participants. Now, Rex X Cryptor, Max SD Cryptor, take note of the subject today, at 750 Kiatricans ATRCX. I slacker to make time conversions on the fly, to be 75.0 EMT, 1800 TRX, 1400 hours RDK TSR, and for you Rex, 2300 hours KBT 12th DP on KP16. Okay, Max. This is I heard from Optic Alito, they to take on Optictronic as OTE has given tours of the two esports arenas, the ESPA, also known as Alftronic Esports Arena and DG Tron, they are at DG Tron as they already met with Optictronic Esports gamers in the past 40k TS or 1 hour. OTE was interviewed on Alftro Newsnet and ATRESP TV. Yes. This is they are being interviewed on Alito News 24 right now on to be interviewed on RDK 3000 TriStar TV service shortly after. This is I got off the phone since 1300 hours KBT, the eSports team was also interviewed on Canber News on Canbernet and Canber News 24 too. Correct, Rex X Cryptor, as they were also interviewed on Zeno News 24 too. From what I heard on Game TV and Gamer Radio, Optic Alito and Optictronic Esports match delayed 72 minutes or 5 choice, 120 deci nudes, 50 kiatrokins from 2 pm start or 750 kts, 75.0 EMT, 1800 TRX now to start at 3.12 pm that is 800 kiatrokins or 80.0 EMT, 1920 TRX. This is per request by Optic Alito since they needed more time to practice, and the race event on the Alito at Olympics being the super race on the new 10km, 25 Kina Nitro track called Circuit Blitz Romeo. Originally to begin at 1.58pm today now scheduled for 3pm hour not due to rain but due to blowing dust, sudden wind gust of 60km per hour, 36 Kina Nitros per choy blowing the dust from the track that makes it very dangerous for racing as that reduces visibility to very dangerous levels. Less than a kilometer or two to three Kina Nitros as drift comps originally scheduled for yesterday was rained out due to thunderstorms, though not severe, thus a thunderstorm advisory by the MSE but with heavy rain triggering a level 1 rain alert and wind gusts of 60 kph or 36 kch. As the drift comps to be today but due to the super race, gets postponed until tomorrow, this is I shakerge to pick up my longtime friend from Zlickville. Any concerning cooties, she was in the stable at the time and not on the field during incident yesterday at 5 am as she's in good spirits. Checked the weather in Zlickville since I know dark clouds once I drive west to Zlickville, I had to stop at the Togue meet area just to put on my raincoat, rain boots, rain slacks, and to get my umbrella at hand. This is it's a chilly 10 degrees Celsius in Zlickville compared to a balmy 24 degrees Celsius in Elite City while it's a hot 1 hours ago in Canbordi City, 37 degrees Celsius, or 58 kbmi, with the heat index feeling like high 40s in Celsius with the humidex, into the low to mid 50s. However it has since cooled off after a sharp cold front went through with heavy thunderstorms but things are okay in Canbordi City post storm at 2319 kbt, 319 pm Elite City, again, thunder. Oh my god, it's raining hard, quite windy out too. However this in Zlickville is in Elite City Metro, to be nice day however the weather in Zlickville is responsible for the sudden wind over at Zen Speedway resulting blowing dust causing a delay in the super race.
Now, do you have your car? Yes, I do. Which car? 2021 Toyota GR Yaris, GR4. Is it an import? Yes. Anyhow this baby is tuned, originally to have 272 metric horsepower and 370 neutron meters of torque. Now up to 390 PS and over 550 neutron meters, just shy of 600. This as it also features some racing style body kit and such however is still street legal. Whoa. That is some crazy tune setup. Even for a turbocharged 1.6 liter 3 cylinder engine. Assumingly a 6 speed manual and all wheel drive. Yes. Anyhow it's at Dewey's house as my friend Dewey Todd Ball is at Raptor Tuning however Raptor Tuning and the competitor DLTS are not participants for the super race at Zen Speedway at the Alito Auto Olympics as they opted out at the last minute. This as I need to head to Dewey's house right away. Okay. Anyhow last meet was back in 2014, EY 1014, things has changed between then and 2021, EY 1021. Anyhow I have since become part of some culture, anyhow have you heard of games? Yes. But that concerns some board games, like chess as I won the most recent game of chess with my sister. Also I do heard the term gaming however in a form of gambling at a casino in Slickville as I won 4000 helios in slots in a 2 helio bet. This as I also know other types of games including role playing, strategy, backyard, pool, and those in physical sports including swimming and most notably autosports hence the Alito Auto Olympics in progress. Okay, how about video games? I have seen it but never heard of it in detail. First mention of it was like at the arcade once I was little once I played like Pong and Pac-Man. Maybe even some video poker in later years at a casino. I even just started mobile gaming over a strategy game this morning. Yeah, how about console and PC gaming? This as I just heard of it but needed to look into more over time. Okay, anyhow you must have didn't knew of video game tournaments. Right. This as there are 1v1 tournaments and there are tournaments where one team compete with another team in a video game tournament. This is like called eSports, or electronic sports however not to be confused with other type of electronic sports including those of robot competitions. eSports? Anyhow I know some sporting teams and physical sports in Elite City being the shot, Thunderdogs, Farah, Firestorm, and Slaves in Rollerball Hockey, Football, Basketball, Soccer and Hockey. Do eSports have its own teams, and if so, list some including from some leagues. Those outside of Illatopia including Xenopolian Gaming Esports Association, Canberra Gamer Association, Hextapolian Esports League, and Webb Chesterfield Esports Premier League. Here in Illatopia, to be Illatopian League of Gaming and Esports Game Jam League, dubbed ELG Game Jam. The name ELG has forced the one with same name Illatopian Lottery and Gambling Authority to rename to LGCAE, Lottery Gambling Casino Association of Illatopia, those in the ELG Game Jam being Team K Gaming, Recur Defiant, Blood Red Gaming, DG Alito, Alito Liquid. Optic Alito in which is at the tour in Altronic City, Altronic Republic taking on Optictronic in the Altronic and Esports Gaming League AEGL at 3.12 PM, and the one I am in, Elite City Shock as I get involved into video games since 2006, EY 1006 as I got involved in esports since 2017. EY 1017, I became team captain since mid-2020, EY 1020 as I am an esports gamer, now off duty since the tournament, ELG Game Jam Esports Mania Splix Blitz 2021, EY 1021 is in the back burner as in the grand finals. Elite City Shock lost to Optic Alito 5-4 in a best of 9 however it was pretty darn close. Anyhow I saw my GR Yaris at Raptor Tuning however don't stop at Raptor Tuning, as we are very close to Dewey's house. However his Nissan Skyline GTR is at Raptor Tuning also and Dewey is waiting for us as he signals us to stop the vehicle. This as we are off to Raptor Tuning. Yes, then DG Square a Lato set. In fact, Mickey Daniels, don't head to Raptor Tuning, there's some major renovation work beginning next hour as the stuff I and my buddies gathered from the secondary location that got destroyed in an explosion a few nights ago after raid by DLTS SDCC, the stuff that survived is being moved to the primary location and thus needed a renovation, as my Nissan and Michael's GR Yaris has been moved to parking at Digi Square Elitizat in which you should go to instead, this is Savage and the others moved the vehicles. Alright, this is I must park my car too there as I want to see the cars you mentioned. 
Then head inside to meet my teammates for Elite City Shock, as there's a viewing party to begin at 3.12 p.m. over in Altronic City, Altronic Republic, Optic Alito taking on Optictronic. 3.12 p.m. over there all the time in Elite City. Time in Elite City, translating to 7.12 p.m. over there. However they use metric time as it's 80.0 over there. 8 o'clock decimal over there, that is 80.0 EMT and 1920 TRX as it's on Universal Time. Yes. My friend do lives there, as he told me. A day equals to 1 million trokens, each of 86.4 milliseconds. 1 kilo troken equals to 1 minute 26.4 seconds. 10 kts equal 1 choy, 14 minute 24 seconds. 100 kts is 2 hours 24 minutes, 10 choys. So a metric second is 10 trokants, a metric minute is 1000 trokants, and a metric hour is 100,000 trokants, 100 kilo trokant. Yes. These are sure decent gaming computers at the eSports Arena section. What are the specs? Well, they are built to outperform. Michael Handros, I just talked to the fellas at the Elite City Car Community. They note your 2021 Toyota GR Yaris. They do love it. Yes, why thank you. What is the top speed? Over 300 km per hour. 180 Kina Nitros per Choi. This with speed limiter off. Rexax Critter, I do want to apologize for such urgent request to return but the subjects were already resolved within a couple hours as Canbernet and Canberra TV and all other networks in Canbordia are now back on the air, as the fire alarm systems were also resolved. But the Canbordax futures suffered a wreck and one Helio was worth 1 million Canbor coins now back to usual levels pre-event as we worry is there to be a major Canbor DEI and stock market bloodbath but thankfully futures went other way and poised for a higher open. Many Canbor DEIans lost their jobs as a result for some time but they has since ordered back to work some time later. Now the Canbor DEIan government ordered the broadcast firms to test the emergency alert systems. This of course includes Amalgot Vision Alert, Canbornet Canber ATV Alert Systems, and the RDKTSR Alert or Deluxe 3000 public alerting system in which we have to do as its mandatory procedure, as testing to begin at 20 hundred hours KBT. This is the Canbor DEI and Prime Minister was nearly ousted due to the economic situation but he remains in power, even there was an assassination attempt but that since was failed as the bullet was off target and hit the vase resulting in damage. This is a test of the Elitopian Emergency Broadcast Alerting System. This is a test of the Elitopian Emergency Broadcast Alerting System. This is only a test. There is no emergency. If this were an actual emergency, 
The alert tone you just heard would have follow critical information and instructions to protect lives and property. In case of a national or global emergency, phones and cellular lines must be kept off limits as those would be reserved for emergency use, including contacting the 888 emergency number system for a life-threatening emergency, military or official use. In addition to receiving this test on television and radio, Tests are also conducted on mobile devices too and emergency sirens are sounding nationwide including those in elite city metro in conjunction to the test and personnel hearing the sirens must disregard as it is being tested at this point. This test is required as per request by an authorized establishment via a Latopian Emergency Management Agency in which its own alerting systems also needs to be tested as required by endorsed establishment. This concludes the test of the emergency broadcast alerting system of Latopia. This was only a test. Broadcast now resumes on this station. <laughs> This is Mark Encryptor from RDK3000 TriStar. This is a test of the RDK TSR Alerter Deluxe 3000 public alerting system as it's an internal system and multi-system network hybrid test of the alerting system. The test is required to all RDK3000 TriStar networks on radio and television in request by RDK3000 TriStar Canboard E Bureau as per order with the Canboard EEIN government with all of its alerting systems in Canboard E being tested in wake of many Canboard EEIN networks in which went off the air in. Wake of the storm yesterday in Canbordi City in which came back on after 1500 hours RDK and Elite City, Midnight KBT, 1900 hours UTC, however as per required by Elitopian law and laws in other countries. The Elitopian Emergency Public Alerting System and other alerting public alerting systems in other countries including the Xenopolian Emergency Broadcast System also needs to be tested as it's a nationwide test as per request to emergency management bureaus as the emergency sirens also need to be tested as part of this test. This concludes the test of the RDK TSR Alerter Deluxe 3000 public alerting system. Programming now resumes on this station. This is a two-hour special edition of RDK3000 TriStar Today Lunch Bites. I am Mark E. Crypter broadcasting live at RDK News Line over at Studio RD3 at RDK3000 TriStar World Headquarters in Elite City, Illatopia. Headlines right hour. Headlines at this hour. Mike Z Cryptor and Christina A Cryptor will be anchoring starting at midday. For those whatever happened to Canber Blitz, buy our affiliate in Canbord E City via RDK3000 TriStar TV Canbord E Feed, EV Splix TV. We got told that the show will no longer air as the station. EV Splix TV has been shut down after raid by Canbord EEIN officials as the station was forced off the air as the emergency alert broadcast system failed to activate on the network. We have more on this later on as we begin with the top story as we are still following developments from last night as the persons involved in the massacre at Zen Speedway targeting Hawk Race in which all the members of the racing team were killed as we learn in the Elitopian Court of Law this. Morning in Elite City, Ralph Handrose and Matthew Alexander has been formerly charged with first degree murder and if convicted, depending on nature, to be sentenced to life imprisonment or death penalty. They to stand trial as the trial to begin next week as they remain in custody as they were denied bail.
Bremen Z Cryptor, it is 1600 hours in Webb Chesterfield, 1100 hours RDK and Elite City time, we should begin the tour now for the RDK Hex aka RDK 6. Yes as I young M Cryptor are interested on the RDK clock servers in the RDK Webb Chesterfield Bureau. Same as I Drexter S Cryptor also the administration office. Yes plus I, Jessica J Cryptor wants to see the TV studio control room. Also the break room as I need to get some coffee. Do not worry Chubby H Crypto. my colleagues are getting coffee and tea for all of us. This is for you, Max SD Crypto. We shall begin the tour right away, follow me to the stairs. Crystal, we better get ready for Optic Illito and the RDK Hex arrival, the Hyperloop pod has since departed Elite City, Illitopia as Max SD Cryptor has arrived back in Elite City, as the pod to arrive in 30 to 40 minutes towards Xenopolis City, Xenopolia. Yes, Jason as the ETA arrival is no later than 10.40 AM local, 11.40 AM Elite City and RDK time, as they should arrive at RDK Xeno no later than midday RDK and Elite City, 11 AM local, this as I got off the phone with Ryan M. Cryptor at the main bureau in Elite City however you turned on speakerphone feature on the telephone at administration office as you need to hear the news too. Yes as I knew the RDK hex as I received a text message minutes ago from young M. Cryptor this as I heard the ring minutes after as you answered as I rushed to turn on speakerphone function on the telephone unit. This is we take you to Elito News 24 affiliate coverage from the fellas down south over at Zeno News 24 from Zeno Media headquarters over in Zenopolis City. Zenopolia as it's 3.36 p.m. over there in the show Zeno News 24 live as the programming break has ended as I will be back after the interview as Alex Rialm continues the interview with Optic Elito. Thank you Catherine Zaniels over at Elito News 24. Welcome back to Zeno News 24, I am Alex Riong over at Zeno News 24 News Center Studio XE64 over at Zeno Media Headquarters in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia as we we also Silum casting this on Elito News 24 over in Elite City Elitopia at Elito News 24 afternoon live as we give a shout out to the Elito News 24 viewers as with the networks covering this, RDK3000 Tristar TV, Chronos, Jinx 24, CHQ slash SRJ 64 slash Star 2000 Virtual World and Gaming Today and Game TV plus WBC News and WTV News 24 in Web Chesterfield, as we continue with the interview with Optic Illito as we also take viewer calls. We have an Illitopian caller, from Savage Siston and from Elite City Metro, Illitopia. Savage? This involving auto sports. Is there going to be an Xenopolian variant of the Auto Olympics called the Xeno Auto Olympics? Also toward Arioka and Kaisar, don't you ever raid into Raptor tuning ever again. If you do, DLTS SDCC will be kicked out of Elitopia and to be banned in Xenopolian Republic. Well, first regarding the remark, that of is frowned upon, as you must be quite rude. That's not being a gentleman and so not polite. Anyhow for the Xeno Auto Olympics, I got told from Xenopolian officials and RDK 3000 TriStar Xenopolia Unit Division, that event has since occurred since June 2021 and today is the final day with closing ceremonies tomorrow. Yes, this as we witnessed some of the competition on the Xenot Olympics at the Xenopolis City Speedway with the RDK6.
RDK6, heads up. Tonight at 1900 hours Xenopolis City, 2000 hours RDK, and Elite City, Choi, Desi Nude, Maya and Mark Zero dubbed Quad Zero's Theral to be the new Elite Metric Season Eve on the Millennial, and that to be day before EMS 79 MLE, this as we have close to 24 hours to go to the new EMS, then it'll to be the 100 day countdown to the new Elite Metric year of EMS 80 MLE. This as we must head back to however this just 24 hours after the start of the closing ceremonies of the Zeno Auto Olympics as the fellow on Zeno News 24 mentions that on the TV, Elitopian counterpart, Elito Auto Olympics isn't till sometime in first week of September 2021. I am Alex Rion, stay with Zeno News 24, we will be back in a couple moments. Welcome back to Zeno News 24 special coverage, as we devote much of this hour as possible on the Zeno Auto Olympics after party and parade. I am Alex Rion over at Zeno News 24 News Center Studio XE64 at Zeno Media Headquarters in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia as we hand off to Liz Zendros immediately to continue the coverage. You almost missed it, Alex. Good grief as there's a brief holdup as you must take a look at this, it's the Xenopolia's most famous racer, in the car that turns many Xenopolians turn heads and the sound that amaze. This is Xeno Race driver number 22 Joseph Blake is waving to the crowds as they go past Xeno Media headquarters on Xeno Street slash Roger Street East intersection. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on for a moment, we have to take you live to DG Square Illitosat in Elite City, Illitopia concerning the other event is that to begin at top of hours, as the fellas just kick off the 15 minute countdown to the subject as it's 7.45pm over there, as it to be the subject of new Elite Metric season of EMY79 Millennial, as we show you live shots of the Skycam view of Elite City Metro, as the NYE balls to be raised up imminently, this is I check the Zeno News 24 hybrid clocks, being the Splix ball that got raised by now, and to be followed by if I remember which order go next correctly, Sun, Rex, Galito, Jinx, Saturnian, Trax, Mill and Canber balls to reach to the top at exactly 6.48 p.m. Xenopolis City, 7.48 p.m. Elite City. This is some producer has given me the clocks, as the faces are pointing toward the camera as we can show it to the viewer as I see it on my monitor, to be the metric and hybrid time clocks, not the hybrid display clocks that shows analog and digital as that concerns the time in EMT and TRX. This is its 99.0 EMT and 2376 TRX, anyhow for information on the Elito timekeeping system, and the EMTS system, there's an article on the subject on the Zeno News website zenonews.xlp or on the Zeno News Plus app on your phone or tablet, free download from your favorite app store. This is there's a countdown clock onto the bottom right just above the Zeno News 24 logo, stating the time left to the new Elite Metric season of EMY79 MLE. This is we are on standby from DXLCA if there's going to be fireworks and ball drop in Xenopolis City to give salute. This could affect the Zeno Auto Olympics after party and parade as the parade is still in progress as we are joined with Liz Zandros once again. Yes, 
She was talking about your visit to Xenopolis City, Xenopolia, anyhow, Splix, Steven Rogers, where is your cousin Mike Rogers, Macro from Optic Web Chesterfield who's visiting Elite City for the day. He had to go to the washroom to brush his hair as I see him getting out his pocket comb as he rushed out the door after some accident messed up his hairdo. Stefan, I am back, sorry that took quite longer than expected. No worries, just next time, do be careful and watch where you step, Mike. Oh my god, Opticalito, it's getting close. Final 20 deci nudes, 12 minutes on the clock. 12 minutes? My watch battery has since depleted. How do you know of the time? Shaker, Mickey Daniels of Elite City Shock. Listening to the chimes on the Jinx Time Excite 2 at this room and voices by Jared Raystar, and my watch, it's 7.48 p.m. right now regarding the time here, and for Webb Chesterfield, being 12.48 a.m. I do hear some buzzer Even every 24 seconds. Where is it originated? Marco, look at me in which I to point at the object. At this shot clock right over the orb clock beside Farah and Raptor, Corey Zanders, and Mark Zaney Els. Hey Shaker. Game on. Raptor. Mark Z. How's ya doing? Corey Zanders here, Mickey. How's you and ELS doing? Also Cooper from Zen Racing? Corey. The rest of the roster for Elite City Shock is downstairs at the eSports Arena section counting down to the new EMS with Raymond Blake, as for Cooper, he is celebrating over at Zen Speedway since the Alito Auto Olympics is on break for the day due to the new EMS. I Mark Zaniels are excited. Same as I, Corey Zanders. Cameron, no wonder your cousin Tokyo Raystar is now a train guide, when did he first mention of the rail sector? That sector is quite crucial to Elitopia and other nations, in terms of freight transport among trucks, cargo planes and cargo ships to deliver goods to personnel regarding food, cars, and electronics, and such. Yes, and which company? Since in past months, he works at Z-Rails, as he rides in a dedicated train for him. The train and subject is at Elite City Metro right now heading to Rexer. 17 no choice. Ten minutes on the dot. This is I am listening to the audio broadcast of Alito News 24 on satellite radio this as I have since get into involvement in the rail sector and join Z Rails, the cargo in the special rail cars, this to be headed to the depot in Rexer. This is I head into eastern elite city toward near the downtown district, the fellows at the downtown shore are getting ready to count down to the new elite metric season of EMS 79 MLE, as the fellas at Z Rails shore are busy even with the new EMS at the top of the hour. Happy new Elite Metric season. Onto the road in the final 100 to EMS 80 MLE. That train horn. That subject is not allowed at DG Square Elitosat. If this from the eSports gamers from Elite City Shock, he will be suspended for 7 matches when the next tournament begins. Shaker, that is the train horn from a train outside, that is the Z Rails train going by on an elevated rail as the train is going by Elite City right now, get used to it. How do you know, Farah? I checked the schedule earlier in the evening, as I know one of the trains into Elite City at this present then to Zlickville in moments. Yes, Corey as I Mark Zaniels know, the train to be heading to Riker. You are correct, Mark Zaniels and Corey Zanders as my cousin Tokyo raised are, the one you know is on one of the trains. Yes, this explains the train horn seconds ago. Yes, the horns may have scared Rene Sanders a bit. Correct Juhi, this frightens me somewhat but Gerard Raister is tough. Correct Rene, this is I am tough and brave, however it jolted a little news 24's Ringo Silvestar big time. This is the winner of the e rally cross and the float with the winner Marco Blitzstar from Xeno Performance going past the Xeno Media headquarters, as I look at his car, it sure can out preform what is this in the distance. Some new year ball, the Xeno ball has since raised, this must be due to appreciation of the new elite metric season of EMY 79 MLE anyhow when the Xeno ball gets lowered to the bottom, fireworks to go off as that to occur at 7 o'clock, PM Xenopolis City as the Xeno ball to make its descent at 6.59 p.m. Xenopolis City and zero seconds for the 60-second countdown. This in fact is just now confirmed by Zeno News 24 as DXLCA has issued the statement at time of the Zeno ball being raised when the newsroom alarms went off and newsroom printers into action. This stating it's to give salute to Elitopia for the new elite metric season and for the Elito Auto Olympics since the Zeno Auto Olympics to be in the books for the year. However, we also just learned that we also got a signal that we need to hand off to the affiliate coverage from Elito News 24. As for those who want to continue watching the parade and after party, tune to Zeno Race immediately, as we will be back no later than 6.58pm Xenopolis City.
Welcome back to Elijah News 24 tonight. I am Catherine Zills over at Elijah News 24 News Center Studio EL24 at Pater ZDZ Jinx Den Carnivore Elijah Net Media HQ in Elite City, Illichia as we want to welcome to the viewers over at BWG2N on CHQ, SRJ and Star 2K. And to the viewers at Zano News 24 to the Zenith Alliance audience. The BWG2N hosts will be back after 8 o'clock p.m. Elite City, and for those on Zano News 24, coverage to resume at 7.58 p.m. Elite City, 6.58 p.m. Zenopolis City. This is we have close to 6 minutes to the new Elite Metric season of NY79 MLE, as we continue the coverage as we are joined with Ringo Silverstar once again at NYE Central. Wait a minute, where did he go? This is producer Scott. Ringo Silverstar have unexpectedly went out the door. His 24 Latopian hours car alarm went off, and he needs to head to the vehicle. Some dog went under the vehicle, setting off the alarm. Is Raymond Blake available? Yes, he is on standby. This is we hand off to Raymond Blake who's at eSports Arena section of Digi Square Light is out. Thank you Catherine, this is it's sure a party over at NYE Central above and also at the eSports Arena section as there's a LAN party that is in progress as there are events in other areas including nightclub and ballroom areas, even outside and across Elite City, and even the Latopia as the Excite goes all the way south to Xenopolis City, Xenopolia as DXLCA pitched in with the countdown, toward the east toward Altronic City, Altronic Republic but no ball drop, no fireworks but light and laser show plus music however due to the Altronic City Skycom being down for scheduled maintenance, we can't show you live shot of Altronic City at this time as we showed you the action in Xenopolis City. This is the Excite continues east toward Canbord E City but actually not in Canbord E City but the area beside, not Swatch City, Swath Tapia but in Cane Lito City in Canberra Lito, an Illitopian territorial state, this is the area uses the Illitopian, Canbord EEIN and Civil Calendar as the languages are English, Elitish and Canberlish as it's a dual currency currency as they adopt the Canberra coin and Illitopian Elios, fireworks to occur at 5 a.m. Cane Lito City, also on KBT in Cane Lito City as that can be viewed quite a distance away from Canbord E City as Canbord E City and Canberra Metro, also Canbord E Republic plus the Canberra world will not be celebrating this, as with Webb Chesterfield, Silver City Corhata Pia, Hex City, Texada, Wexy City and in other areas in Alpha and Beta continents. Beyond the new Elite Metric Season EMS 79 MLE events, beside the Elito Auto Olympics in which is slated to resume tomorrow afternoon toward the end of the week, as there to be a viewing party of the eSports Tournament Playoffs, as that is the Call of Duty League 2021. EY 1021 Championship Playoffs is that to begin on August 19, 2021 is that to be featured on Game TV secondary channels, and on the premium channels Gamer TV, to be renamed to Elito Gamer ESP, and Elito Gamer ESP Plus in the coming week. This being the day one on the 19th concerning the first two matches in the playoffs, this is Minnesota Rocker to take on Dallas Empire. And New York Subliners to compete with Optic Chicago in the first two matches out of four matches on tap the NYS and OTC sure get attention to the one for the ELG game jam, Optic Elito, OTE as they to chant on OTC in the CDL however they have no affiliation with each other. Toward the end of the month, well, toward September, we have the HNM Canber and Elito of Darwin KP16 and IOTA EY1021, the new Elito lunar year, this to occur in the evening on the 6th in conjunction with start of Rosh Hashanah, Jewish New Year, and from September 4th and 5th. To be the Overwatch League planes is there to be a viewing party. And most importantly on September 1st, 2021, the ELG Game Jam Esports Mania Sigma 2021, EY1021 kicks off on that day with the first match being the top two teams in the poll that is running now on the Game TV website GameTV.elp, as there is still time to cast your vote in the poll. We announce the results on Saturday the 28th of August, 2021 during the special Elito Gamer ESP preview of the Esports Tournament at 8pm Elite City. We are down to the two and a half minute mark, as Ringo Silvestar needs to bring his car to the mechanic as I got a text message from him as the car alarm drained the 12 volt axial ID battery as it cannot start, even though it's an EV since the master battery is okay. This is the first set of the NYE balls being lowered outside in Elite City, we have a programming alert to pass to you on CHQ, SRJ, and Star, due to the coverage of the new EMS, VWG2N needs to be preempted for the night. Hosts to be back tomorrow, as Star News, CHQ Newsline and SRJ64 News Center special starts now. And sadly, we have to say goodbye to the Xenopolean viewers over at Zeno News 24, as the coverage is set to resume with Alex Ria. And, we just told just now toward the viewers over at RDK3000 TriStar today, we have to say goodbye as well, as RDK3000 TriStar today begins right now with Mark Crypter filling in for Christina A. Crypter and Mike C. Crypter who is on assignment. Thank you Raymond Blake from Game TV. I am Marky Crypter over at RDK3000 TriStar News Center Studio RD3 over at RDK3000 TriStar World Headquarters in Elite City, Illitopia. Anyhow first off top, as Raymond Blake said, due to the coverage. VWG2N needs to be preempted for the night as the hosts will back same time tomorrow so this will be a 2 hour extended edition special as we powering up always. Always for the next 2 hours on all radio and television networks of RDK3000 TriStar everywhere as we have not much time toward the new Elite Metric season of EMY79 MLE. I mean EMY79 S79 not EMY79.
This in behalf of everyone here at RDK3000 TriStar toward the viewers everywhere on all networks, radio, television, and web. I, Marky e. Crypter, wishes everyone a splendid new Elite Metric season of EMS 79 MLE as we do count down now as we have T minus 20 seconds on the clock. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Happy New Elite Metric Season, EMS 79 Millennial, 100 days to go until New Elite Metric Year of EMY 80 Millennial, Let Fireworks are now in progress in Elite City Metro and in most areas in Illatopia and also in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia, this is this EMS is a special one, as this to mark the 100 days toward the New Elite Metric Year of EMS 80 MLE, this is Xenopolians give us salute on the subject as the RDK6 and Optica Lito was just back earlier today, as I can hear the RDK6 from a distance away, they must be partying hard this is Jared and Renee over at NYE Central at DG Square Litosat wraps up the countdown and ushers in the subject, also, as with Mark Zaniels and Corey Zanders plus Optica Lito, and the fireworks in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia did not impact the Xenoat Olympics parade and after party but it does seem to enhance as the parade is still in progress. This is its after 20 hundred hours RDK and Elite City, Quad Zeros, as always, here's what else is making headlines tonight on RDK 3000 TriStar today on August 17th, 2021. story, the new Elite Metric season of EMS 79 MLE as fireworks are in progress right now in Elite City, and across Illatopia, also in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia plus a light and laser show with music in progress also in Altronic City, Altronic Republic. Even Webb Chesterfield too by the fellows over at WBC News, are affiliate with its own light and laser show, fireworks, and music. However we just now learn of such firework activation attempt that has failed, as we have this breaking news in an RDK 3000 TriStar alert just into our newsroom, from Canbord City. This is the fire alarm and police slash lockdown alarms has since went off over at Canber LPK 784 and Canber Telemedia HQ in Canber D City. We are determining more information on this story as we have more on the story once we learn more from Canber D City. Once it comes into the RDK newsroom so stay tuned for additional information. Ken Boromarsh Tom, anyhow good thing the fireworks did not go off but the lockdown and fire alarms? You should note that is only intended for real emergencies only, any false alarms are dealt in a harsh manner, so beware. So I noticed, name El Kamba. This is you came to the master panel in another room as Canva she rushed to Canva Telemedia next door to its master panel as you and he have the keys at hand to silence the alarms and reset the panels. This is I said a remark that I set off the wrong function.
This is the Jump Fest Carnival D is in progress since 2 o'clock p.m. Elite City, 23 o'clock KBT despite the countdown to Happy New Month of Carnival D of Darwin KP16 in which there are countdowns in progress, with the climax to occur at midnight KBT, 3 o'clock p.m. Elite City. By 1021, this as Raymond Blake will have the details, Raymond? Yes. This is Optical Lito takes on Elite City Shock tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. This is Elite City Shock wants revenge to win in the opening match. One EY 1021. Oh my God! The esports match and subject is being pushed early, rather than tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Elite City to be 3 o'clock. PM Elite City this afternoon, at the Kenboard EDI and Happy New Month of Darwin KP16, make the 2.59 PM in 48 seconds in the final Kenboard EDI. Oh dear, 14.59 and 48, must head to DG Square Elitisat soon, chatting with my Xenopolian gaming live streaming friend Steve Ricksaw and Andrew of the subject no. To recap what Raymond Blake just said, the esports match for Optic Elito and Elite City Shock has gotten rescheduled as it to begin in next 20 minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to BWGT on scene of Battlezone where Optic Illito and Elite City shot to compete 12 seconds before HNM and HNT, Jared Ristar, and Renee Sanders hosting the 15 minute kickoff. VWGT hosts, Scott Illitistar, head over next door right away to RDK3000 TriStar TV Studio Op- Or 25 decimals. That is, we have a caller from Savage Siston and from Elite City. Yes, I have a question on your car. 2022 Flex Fera. Is there any non hybrid trims available? We have a caller from Tokyo Raystar from Elite City. Two subjects. Number one. Question to Scott, my relatives Max and Rex Raystar, they watched your live streams a lot, is it your hobby, like is there any monetization and sponsorship? Also toward the affiliates and partners simulcasting this, I, Raymond Blake, wishes the folks, and gamers, and the rest, a splendid happy new month and trimester Canberra D of Darwin KP16 and 3T of the Canberra year. I will now switch mic source to the one to broadcast of the Lido over ES. RDK3000 Tristar today, I am Max SD Crypter over at Studio RD3 at the RDK3000 Tristar World Headquarters in Elite City, headlines at the new Canberra month, happy new month and trimester Canberra. Pushed forward due to HNM and HNT Elito 3T and IOTA Month EY 1021 Mega Party tomorrow evening with 10 Choi Countdown to kick off late tomorrow afternoon 1736 RDK, 536 PM Elite City, 90.0 EMT, 2160 TRX.
Welcome back to Afternoon Live on ELN24. I am Corey Illithistar broadcasting live from Studio X at ELN24's EBG headquarters in Elite City. It is 2.45 p.m. Elite City on October 11, 2017. Hold up Raymond Blake from Game TV. Stop stop stop, this because we have this development just into ELN24 as the newsroom alarms has went off as I check the laptop, this concerns the event that we have yet to look into as we can read the primary details, being midnight in Lumios City, in Kalos, being UTC plus 5 hours October 12, 2017, as that is to be same time in Swatch City, Swathtapia, and Silver City, Korhatapia, 2300 hours, 11 o'clock, PMKK 2005 time, translating to 3 o'clock, PM Elite City, 1500 hours on the 24 hour clock, 79.1 EMT, 1900 TRX, as there are reports of crowds in the area as that is an outdoor event, and to be a televised event in Kalos areas. To recap the developments just in within the past minute, there is going to be some sort of event to occur in Lumios City in Kalos District, being midnight in Lumios City, in Kalos, being UTC plus 5 hours October 12th. 2017, as that is to be same time in Swatch City, Swathtapia, and Silver City. Korhatapia. 2300 hours, 11 o'clock, PMKK 2005 time, translating to 3 o'clock, PM Elite City, 1500 hours on the 24 hour clock, 79.1 EMT, 1900 TRX, as there are reports of crowds in the area as that is an outdoor event, and to be a televised event in Kalos areas, as that we now learn more details. To be the new year on the old Kalos system, as that to be year 3004 in its system, this coming up in less than a dozen minutes right on PAR with the debut of new logo and graphics package for ELN24. This as I check the studio clock, being in close to 10 minutes as it's almost 2.50pm Elite City, 11.50pm in Lumios City, 10.50pm in KK2005 City, this as we at ELN24 want to show you affiliate coverage from Lumios City, Kalos Republic from the fellas at Sylvian Network with the program of ELT on news as the news host may have more information on the insight as we to listen for more details. We will break in if necessary. Hello. I am Nicole Watterson. This is EV Ocean News Update at 11.50 p.m. Today is the 11th of October 2017. This is New Year of Old Kalos Year 3004 begin in 9 minutes left. At broadcasting in countdown 5 minutes. Now in Lumio City have light open at 11 p.m. for countdown. Now in Sylvian and Watterson family. Be watched countdown for New Year of Old Kalos Year 3004. This news. Broadcasting all Kalos Channel plus K.K 2005 Network 1 and Hernandez News Midnight. Now here update this news. And Next one's 11.55 p.m. E.V. Alshin News and Sylvian. Hello. I am Nicole. It appears that the station has since went into a programming break as we are joined with Raymond Blake from Game TV. As we was talking about the esports match to occur in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia at 2 p.m. XLC, 3 p.m. Elite City, today. Concerning the Xenopolian Esports Tournament 2017 Grand Finals before we got interrupted by a news alert for the other subject to occur at the top of the hour. update at 11.55 p.m. Now 5 minutes left to New Year of Old Kalos. Auto countdown sound in 5 minutes. Now near New Year of Old Kalos in the 12th of October at midnight. Now in DD from Dexter's Laboratory. From Prism Tower, Lumio City. Now back. in Prism Tower only this about more than 4 minutes left. I have a New Year of Old Kalos year 3004. Prism Tower now to 4 like this 4 minutes left. Now two owners are jumping in this place. Clem on his owner jump in prison down. Clem. How the two year old is colored. That's good. This is in Kilo's regions. Since fun here this time. Come on. How design a prison tower for countdown by glass 10 floor. How many seconds per floor have light? This fixed for light on 30 seconds per floor. Now 
now happy new year old Kalos year 3004. Now, only about 3 minutes and 30 seconds to new year old Kalos. Now you watch that Kalos television is fine. But in K.A. 2005 city, you watch Fernandez and his new friend or Kalos television in K.A. 2005 city. Countdown. That's good. This is Anyhow that was the news presenter and the correspondence from Ibilti on News, as we have 3 minutes left to the new year on the old Kalos system as we show the countdown clock on the bottom showing the time left, 5 deci nudes, 2 Dino choice. As I check my watch as I walk over from Studio X to the all new Studio A as we get ready for the refresh of ELN24 with the new logo and graphics package as we to say goodbye to OKY3003 and the old graphics package as we say hello to OKY3004 and the new graphics package and logo for ELN24. Anyhow from all at ELN24 and ZBG headquarters in Elite City, I, Corey Elitistar wishes everyone tuning in a splendid new year on the old Kalos system of year 3004 as I will be back in a few minutes at 3 o'clock, PM Elite City, stay with Afternoon Live on ELN24. And there ya have it. The new year on the old Kalos system of year 3004 as it just struck midnight in Lumios City. Kalos, 11 o'clock, PMKK 2005 time, 3 o'clock, PM Elite City, 79.1 EMT, 1900 TRX, as fireworks get in progress in Lumios City. As that was affiliate coverage from Ibilti on news from the fellas at Sylvian Network from Lumios City, Kalos Republic, as crowds celebrate the new year on the OKS even there are celebrations here in Elite City, Federal District, Illatopia but at a city park. This as we launch the new graphics package for ELN24 as we welcome you to third hour of afternoon live on ELN24. I am Corey Illatistar bringing to you live from the all new Studio A at ELN24 ZBG headquarters in Elite City. Here's the headlines at 3. Welcome back to Afternoon Live on ELN24, I am Corey Illitistar bringing to you live from Studio A at ELN24 ZBG HQ in Elite City. Now we have less than 10 minutes to the Xenopolian Esports Tournament Summer 2018 Grand Finals as we shift our attention to the esports match down south in Xenopolia, as the esports match to get held at the all-new Xenopolis City Esports Gaming Center that got opened just last week. This is Optic Zeno to take on Zeno Face, in which during the 2017 annual tournament just last year, Optic Zeno wins 4-3 in a heated match even a heated map 7 itself. This was briefly interrupted by 30 minutes due to fireworks in Xenopolis City at the New Year of Old Kalos system of year 3004 back on October 11, 2017. Hold up! The ELN24 newsroom alarms just went off. Producer, get the paper that was printed from the newsroom printer. Thank you!
We have this development just into ELN24. At 2.53 PM Elite City, this according to RDK3000 TriStar News Wires, there is a countdown in progress to the new year on the old Anovayan system in Anovayan Republic, as the time over there is several minutes to 12 midnight in the city, Catalina City in Anova. This is the event to occur in the next several minutes, as there are celebrations to occur in Catalina City, even in Canbordi, Kalos, and areas. Even here in Elite City Metro with the DELCA and RDK3000 TriStar to lower the ball drops and fireworks straight at 3 as we are given short term notice of this as that was raised. Celebrations of this instance are not expected in Silver City, Korhatapia, Hex City, Hextapalia, Swatch City, Swathtapia even in Xenopolis City, Xenopalia. This is there's another event, but related to esports and gaming, being the Xenopolian Esports Summer Tournament 2018 Grand Finals, Optic Xeno vs Xeno phase to occur at top of the hour also. As we are joined with Raymond Blake from Game TV Studios and Max Zenostar from Zeno News 24 at Xenopolis City Esports Gaming Center in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia. This is we show you live shots of Elite City, and coverage from the station in Anova and from RDK3000 TriStar Television Service via Pick and Pick. This is we have to end it there, anyhow coverage of the esports to be on Game TV, anyhow not much time to the esports match also the new year on the old Anovayan system of year 3008, from all at ELN24, and fellows over at Zen Media Broadcast Corporate in Elite City, I. Corey Elitistar wishes everyone a splendid new year on the old Anovayan system. I will be back at 3.05pm Elite City or whenever news breaks, stay with Afternoon Live on ELN24. In the meantime, we hand off to affiliate coverage from RDK3000 TriStar Television Service. Fox counterpart. Now concerning what Elite has said in SL, he at first was unaware of this thus resulted in RDK3000 TriStar Gary's Mod Division being forced to telephone the RDK Second Life Division office to learn of the event in plain English so Mr. Runner can understand. He now understands the event. Thank you RDK TSRG Mod. Now we are getting close as it is 23 to 58 RKT, as we have less than 2 minutes left to the new old Anovayan year of 3008. We are nearly one Gino Choi close and on the bottom right it shows the countdown and Kino Choi's. We want to bring you the shots from participating bureaus of RDK 3000 TriStar including in also outside our studios and from our affiliate stations in Univayan region in which things are getting intense. It is approaching 23 to 59 RKT in which we have one minute to the new old Anovan in year of 3008. The countdown in seconds is shown that is now below the Kino Choi countdown, and we would like to give a late welcome to the viewers of SRJ, Star and CHQ TV service who is simulcasting our feed from Star 2000 Virtual World today. 45 seconds left as things are getting heated up. Yes, and things are getting wild too. Even the Elite City Stock Exchange had to temporary hold trading for a few minutes for this event. Trading will resume at 1502 RDK, we are told. 30 seconds. As the XCS X deposit just hit a new all-time record high and a new milestone of 30,000. We are just close to one few more minute left. Yes, and 25 you know, choice is just now 20 seconds. This is it, the final countdown to the new old Honda Hall in year of 3008. Here we go. In 1, 2, 3, go. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 5 4, 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. 1. I am Coriola the star over at ELN24, news center over at ZBGHQ in Elite City, this is an ELN24 alert as we have breaking news to report, sudden fireworks has since gone off in all of Alpha and Beta continent, even Hanatalia continent. This in wake of the new year on old Anovayan system of year 3008 this includes Silver City, Web Chesterfield, Rikotoki, Hex City, Zentapolis, Pacifica City, and within Illitopia not only Elite City, but in Sharkville and Riker even down south in Xenopolis City. Xenopolia that results in an unscheduled game pause and 30-minute intermission of the Xenopolian Summer Esports Tournament 2018 Grand Finals between Optic Xeno and Xeno Phase, in best of seven, Battle Blitz Warts, as that also resulted in a trading halt on the ECSX composite, and just now on the Illitodak market site, 
the one on the ECSX composite initially to resume trade in the next minute, we got learned just now to resume at 3.30 pm Elite City, whereas to resume at 3.20 pm Elite City on the Ilatodak, this is ECSX crosses 30,000 and Ilatodak crossing 10,000. Anyhow before we continue, we got told by the authorities being emergency management Elite City Office and Elite City Metro Police, City Hall, and Fire Department, as with the Department of National Defense, to tell the viewers and public to disregard the sirens as that are not emergency sirens. As that is only intended to sound for the new year on the old Anovavian system, also to tell the viewers, do not call the cops. To repeat, do not call the police. Also don't call the fire department, city hall, emergency management office, DELCA even 388 city services and 888 emergency services. Misuse of the 888 emergency services is illegal and can result in fines and slash or jail time, as that is only intended for life-threatening emergencies only. This is we also got told by the Elitopian Parliament and Emperor's Palace, that the Prime Minister and Emperor's agro to give best wishes to the fellows in Anova to greet them a blessed new year. Regarding the market action we go live with a correspondent from our sister network EBN over at Elite City Stock Exchange. Welcome back to Elito News 24's Afternoon Live, I am Corey Elito Star over at Elito News 24 News Center Studio EN24 over at Petra ZDZ Jinx Zen Canberra Elito Net in Elite City. Do not be alarmed of the part of the visuals of the Elito News 24 Afternoon Live also the music being played now, as that was the old theme music and intro visual of Afternoon Live when it was ELN24 back then when I was lead anchor for Afternoon Live back in 2016 to early 2019 as I first covered the New Year's on the old Kalos year in October 11th. 2017 and old Anovavian year just three years ago today. As that is only temporary and special instance only, I will be joined with lead anchor Catherine Zaniels after 3 p.m. Elite City. Anyhow it is 2.44 p.m. Elite City where it's 11.44 p.m. in Anova, also in Kalos and KBT, as we have 16 minutes to go until the new year in old Anova system is that to be year 3011 in its system, as the Xenopolian Esports Summer 2021 Grand Finals get postponed until tomorrow the 18th this as they do not want fireworks to go off for the new year on OUS to interfere with the esports match in Xenopolis City. We now hand off to Velma Jones over at Kronos for the 15 minute countdown kickoff since Ringo Silvestar is still in the washroom fixing up his, wait a minute why there is a scoreboard in a shot clock timer doing at the NYE Central, timer on the scoreboard in on mode, and on the shot clock set to 24 seconds with master timer of 15 minutes and some numbers below the scoreboard clock. That was given as a gift from Mark Alitastar aka Mark Ecryptor from RDK3000 Tristar, just for saying thanks in response for the gift for helping the crew in participation of the new Canberra metric year back on the 10th, as the shot clock was set to 24 seconds. That is a number of seconds in a Dell and Sigma's old time, and the number of Dells, as 240 Dells equal a lawn and 60 lawns, for days into a Sigma, whereas on the other side being the countdown in Kia Trokants with fraction of Kia Trokant in Alftronic timekeeping. It to switch to the match clock and esports match score for Optic Alito and Blood Red Gaming and map number once the countdown reaches zero otherwise to be used for other subjects i.e. hockey, basketball, soccer or football. This is the 15 minute timer kicks off now for the new year on the old Unova system of year 3011 as it's 2345 in Catalina City also the same time in KBT, day 365 of year 3010 on the old Unova system, or Finota, 17th Darwin, KP16. That is 11.45 p.m. on Friday, September 17, 2021 in my birthplace, Silver City Corgitopia before I emigrated to Elite City since 2019, EY 1019 as it's my 10th year in my television career, 2nd year in Elitopian TV career. This is the fellas over at DG Square Elitizat given me cake in the past hour anyhow since we have less than quarter hour left to the new year on the old Unova system. We go live to Lumio City in Kalos and Catalina City in Unova, but to come later, but we are joined with a freelance correspondent in Canbordi City. What's it like over there? Yes, I am Daniel Starian reporting from the rooftop of Canberra LPK 784 HQ in Canbordi City. This as the fellows in Canbordi City are excited to kick off the new year of the old Anova system of year 3011 at the top of the hour, as we have Canbordi Kipion beside me. Now, Mr. Kipion, back in KP13 for 2018. EY1018 for Elitopian viewers on Elito News 24, for the event, for New Year on Old Anova System of Year 3008, you were in Nimbasa Gym in Nimbasa City Anova, you met the trainer named Eliza the Electric, owner of Nimbasa Pokemon Gym, do you recall any thoughts with her? 
Yes, she informs that the subject was a green light for the system's machines in Concordian regions, as the uplink was sent to Concordian Studios systems of CKB and Concordia in which is now Canberra Telemedia and Canberra Net. As for this year, we to do the same. Anyhow for those at Wheeltopolis. We have to cut because he said the term, the subject Canborde Kapion just said referring as alternate name for Illitopia as we refer, that is violation of the Petrus EDZ Jinx and Canberra Illidonet handbook as we never use that term on the air, as we hand off to Lumio City as Canborde Kapion needs a time out from air time, I do want to apologize for photobombing on Illido News 24 live on the air but thank god we are not on the air as of now, however I, Marky e. Cryptor want to tell you, Corey Illidistar, regarding Scott Illidistar, SE Stars plays, he is to live stream OTE and BRG match at 1500 hours. Maybe 5 minutes early at 14.55, also of most importance, to inform you, of a parcel that has arrived, concerning a new laptop computer for you for personal use. Thank you, Marky, have the associate from RDK3000 Tristar carry that to the Alito News 24 news desk beside my chair. Okay, Corey, anyhow regarding what Canbord Ekapion said referring alt name for Illitopia that start with word wheel, we at RDK3000 Tristar also do not use that term as well as per strict RDK3000 Tristar code, even when on the air. Also take note, NYE on OKS of Y3011 also eSports OTE, VSBRG in 12 minutes at 1500 hours, as I must rush to Studio RD3 over at RDK3000 TriStar Newsline next door since VWGT to go out of programming break in next minute. Welcome back to BWGT on CHQ, SRJ, and Star Plus RDK TV services. I am Mickey James from Star 2K. I am Smith Phelps from SRJ64. I am Sean Richardson from CHQ. As it states on the countdown clock on the upper left on CHQ, SRJ and Star TV and on the bottom above the clock footbar on RDK3000 TriStar TV service, we have less than 10 and a half minutes left to the esports match of Optic Alito and Blood Red Gaming, as they compete in best of seven in Battle Blitz Wars. This is it's not only the event to take place at that time as there is one other and this have nothing to do with esports and gaming. Yes, this is the event 21 Pilots Interactive and Game Concert in Roblox to occur at 7 p.m. Elite City tonight is the one at the top of the hour being the new year on the old Anovavian system of year 3011. This in the Pokemon subcontinent of the Canberra world areas this is in Catalina City. Its capital, and other areas in Anova as there'll be celebrations there, even in Kalos, and Lumios City, even in Canbordi City and here in Elite City Metro as we show you the action in the video wall. Not to mention the action over at DG Square Latosa at NYE Central. This as Jared Raystar and Renee Sanders, the Lion, and Lioness are doing countdown sequence for the subject as there are two new things, a shot clock and a scoreboard, that is used for the countdown. That is displaying the countdown in Dells and Sigma's old time and seconds plus key trokens and fraction in Altronic and time keeping otherwise called Dino Choice or Metric Minute. This as we are approaching 23 Dells and Sigma's old time keeping. Also the video monitor at NYE Central showing the feed from Esports Arena section below with Raymond Blake from Alito Gamer ESP this as we are joined with him now but we to talk about brief subjects regarding New Year on old Unova system of year 3011 at the start of the Esports match of OTE and BRG Raymond. Yes, this sure also gets attention to the esports players of Optic Alito and Blood Red Gaming, even Elite City Shock who is spectating this match, also JXEG, and Team K Gaming minus Raptor and Farah. Mark Zaney Els and Corey Zanders as Mark and Corey is at NYE Central above however BRG and OTE must prioritize and focus on the esports match and not about the celebrations of the new year of Old Anova of year 3011 at the top of the hour when the esports match to get underway. Raymond Blake, I want to put you on hold for a few calls we are joined with Mark E. Cryptor over at RDK3000 Tristar I am Mark E. Cryptor over at RDK3000 Tristar Newsline Studio RD3 at RDK3000 Tristar Main HQ in Elite City, this is we request that Virtual World and Gaming today on CHQ. SRJ64 and Star2000 TV to be on pause until after 1503 as we to air the RDK3000 Tristar today's special report on the countdown to the new year on old Anova system of year 3011 is that to begin right now.
This is an RDK 3000 TriStar Today special on the countdown to the new year on old ANOVA year of year 3011. I am Mark E. Crypter over at RDK 3000 TriStar Newsline Studio RD3 at RDK 3000 TriStar World Headquarters in Elite City. We want to devote the next several minutes toward the countdown to the new year on the old ANOVA system of year 3011. For those wanting the coverage from news perspective of Blood Red Gaming vs Optical Lito Esports match in a jiffy, tune to Elito News 24, Chronos or Jinx 24 now. This is we show you live shots in the RDK sidebar to the left, showing the live action of Lumios City in Kalos, Catalina City in Anova, Canbordi City, and of course Skycam view of Elite City. Illitopia also the feeds over at DG Square Illitosat at the eSports Arena section and most importantly the New Year Central above. Now just three years ago today, Mike Z Cryptor and Christina A Cryptor covered the subject for year 3008 as they showcased live report from Roblox also Second Life and Gmod. Now we were going to go live to Elite Runner from RDK 3000 TriStar Second Life Unit Division but due to Second Life outage on August 31, 2021. RDK 3000 TriStar Second Life Unit Division Ops is suspended until January 2021 to as early as this Christmas as we are joined with Zenzi Cryptor from RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Unit Division since Zayas Cryptor from Gary's Mod is in an important meeting. In which Zenzi Cryptor is live at the all-new RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Newsline at its headquarters in Cryptor City, Cryptation, Robloxian Federation. Zen. Actually, I am at the rooftop as the new studio is not yet ready. This as three years ago today I and Bogey and some other fellows were counting down to the new year on the old Anova system of year 3008 as I plus Canter 784 was recording the action in Roblox. As we put it on respective YouTube channels as for this year, for 2021, EY 1021, KP 16, we are doing it again at the RDK 3000 TriStar RDK Tower in Roblox home of RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Unit Division Center Headquarters while those below, at DG Blocks, to be a viewing party of Optical Little and Blood Red Gaming Esports Match. Fireworks to lit up at the three towers, off Bloxy Clocks Tower, Blocks Tower and Critter Tower, plus at the RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Bureau at RDK Tower. For those watching Elite City and Altronic City say what? The towers were designed by Latopian and Altronic firms as the Robloxian firms get on it with a construction in which got finished just earlier this year. This as Theral gonna be ball drops here at the RDK Tower in Roblox. This consists of the same balls as with the one in Elite City throughout key establishments that was raised. However the ones in Roblox are owned by RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Unit Division as I can master the system for this instance as that get mounted on the RDK Tower. This as we have 5 minutes to go to the new year on the old Anova system, as the radio stations in Critter City are devoting coverage including Rock 96, also Roblox TV Channel 8 and Roblox News Channel. I am Zen Z Critter and I to hand off back to Mark E Critter at the main studio in Elite City, Illitopia. Thank you, even RDK 3000 TriStar Television Service Roblox feed also Elito News 24 International Robloxia also devoting coverage as with the domestic feed as we do include the shot from Roblox via pick and pick. You should get ready for the race, as it to be 10 laps around the 6.4 kilometers, 16 Kina Nitro track, of 4 surface types, sand, dirt, pavement, and hard packed gravel. 64 kilometers, 160 Kina Nitros, almost 40 miles in Imperial units, 75 and a half Kiamatros in Alftronic units 34 and a half nautical miles. This as we race each other after tuning adjustments to our cars also we will race against one other fellow. Yes, you are right. This is I Kevin Edwards are going to race with you. This is my cousin Corey Edwards told me who reside in Canbordi City visiting Elite City today told me Theral gonna to be New Year on the old Unova system of year 3011 to occur at midnight Unova and KBT. 3 p.m. Elite City once we race as we was just back from Unova just last week as we were in Catalina City. Take note of that. 12 a.m. in Anova and Catalina City, and I do know the same time in KBT, Canberra time, being time in Canberra East City, anyhow how many hours offset from Elite City time? 9 hours ahead of Elite City time, 10 hours when daylight saving time is not observed from November to March, as it's 2356 KBT in Anova on 17th Darwin KP16 and 17th Samurat UP11, translating to September 17th, 2021. This means the current time here is 2.56 p.m., as race to start in 4 minutes, approaching 3, how do you know the time and time zone offset? I am Kevin's brother, Richard Edwards, he and I reside in downtown Elite City, anyhow before when we moved to Elite City, we resided in Canbor D City in Canbor World areas since 2017 until 2020 until Tropical Storm Mud Cup menaced Canbor D City. My and Kevin's house were swept away from flood waters as I and he was underwater in flood waters up to 5 meters deep. Thank good we had our water gear so we survived as we got rescued however due to the conditions at that time, we were forced to move and emigrate to Elitopia. 
Before 2017 when we moved to KK2005 city, in which is now Kanbordi city, I and Kevin resided in Pearl city, Jemhug, the Kofinlan in which is on UTC as current time over there is. 1857 and 45 seconds, as I look at the time on the Zen Speedway clock. Anyhow you told me 15 minutes ago, regarding your cousin Tokyo Raystar as he works at a freight train firm Z-Rails, I have seen his train as I know every train as I do have passion on trains as much as cars also boats. Even eSports 2 as Opticalito takes on Blood Red Gaming in a few minutes as I grab my pocket television tuned to RDK3000 TriStar TV service with secondary channel to Alito News 24 and radio on Alito Gamer Radio 100.7. Yes, this is he's busy working as engineer however the race to begin soon, approaching 90 seconds on the clock, also to the new year on old Anova system as the area when you were born, Peko Finicone, the country has become a kingdom state since September 9, 2021. Yes, this is it transitioned from a republic state. Correct, Richard, this at midnight Peko Finicone in time, aka UTC, 8pm Elite City on September 8, 2021 however Savage and Dewey you must pay attention to the starting lights. On it, Kevin. Same as I, Kevin. Nico, go grab your ear protectors out now and put it on cause the engines to be loud. Ear protectors are already on, Dewey, as it's 2.59pm as Richard Edwards told me there'll also be fireworks too in Unova. Can Bordy even in Kalos plus here in Elite City Metro for the new year of the old Unova system in the next minute, I know you, Kevin and Savage are tough to withstand. As you must have not got distracted at all during the race back on the 10th for new camera trick year of KMS 60 just 6 days 23 hours and 59 minutes ago. This is I wish you good luck on the race also toward Kevin and Savage as I grab out my device in television mode to the channel 5.1 RDK 3000 TriStar TV service to witness the countdown. This is behalf of RDK 3000 TriStar, I'm RP Crypter, wishes everyone everywhere a splendid new year old I know the system of year 3011. This is it's the final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year on old Anova system, year 3011. Happy New Year, Yatrioko Priapria OTV Oimi Wasusalai. Happy New Year on old Anova system, year MMMX5. Best wishes from Zen Z Crypter from RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Unit Division. Fireworks here at RDK Tower in Roblox are sure of beauty. I challenge Elite City, Canbordi City, Anova, Kalos, Zenpro City, Web Chesterfield, Hesh City, G1, Neopia, World of Gully, Second Life, Hapo. Other areas in Roblox, Pinewood Computer Corp, Adopt Me, Pacifico, Brookhaven, Greenville, Sizzleburger, Pet Simulator X, 21 Pilots Concert Area and elsewhere. That was brief remarks from Zen Z Crypter from RDK3000 TriStar Roblox Unit Division as he does mention 21 Pilots Virtual Concert in Roblox, in the next 4 hours. There's an unexpected event as fireworks has since went off at the concert area for the new year on the old Anova system while waiting for the concert. This word from our field correspondents in Robloxian Federation. The fireworks for the new year on old Anova system was a blast. Anyhow it's 020 KVT in Anova on Gwenlok.18 of Darwin KP16 and 18th of Samurat, UP11, 1st of Alpha, year 3011 on the old Anova system day 1 as I check my RDK phone, as I check the time on the computer monitor and on the calendar, 1520 RDK TSR, 80.5 EMT and 1933 TRX on IOTA 16th. EY 1021 or Friday, September 17, 2021. This as I must had to get the mail at the local post office. This as I head to the RDK Mobile. I must go ahead to Raptor Tuning 2 to customize the RDK Mobile. I do know the subject is near, just next week however I do mention later, as I am heading to the mail first then Raptor Tuning. Some parcel went into the mail for me, as it was sent from some friend of mine in Rio de Blocks, pictures of restoration of the Audi Quattro, as I must telephone them soon as I do note Savage, 
Dewey. Initial and Francis has since completed the work. Anyhow, I must tell them of the subject next week. Not the two New Year inspired events, but the Overwatch League 2021 playoffs and grand finals, as I need to head back to the RDK Tower and head to key websites as I do make the schedule in the spreadsheet application once I go on computer at the administration office. I am also considering to print it off at the printer in another room. This as I boot into Windows 10 and launch LibreOffice as I head to the Overwatch League website at overwatchleague.com, also checking out the Wikipedia article. This as I fill in the subjects and key references should the winning team go in the upper bracket and the losing team in the lower bracket in the initial round and mention the dates and times when the subject occur. This as I also give them nicknames. I do note the matches occur in the evenings throughout the week, early morning in KBT. This as the teams to be competing, San Francisco Shock, Shanghai Dragons, Philly Fusion, Los Angeles Dragons, Washington Justice, Dallas Fuel, Lanta Rain, and Chengdu Hunters as I give them the following nicknames, Shark, Drago, Atmos, Star, Eagle, Fire, Ha, and Panda. The why I give those nicknames? Concerning SFS, I call them as Sharks as there's a sporting team in the Bay Area that is the San Jose Sharks from the NHL. The Shanghai Dragons, I call as Drago, as I know the slang, Drago, who is Bloxer's friend in which Bloxer is Rex Bloxizion's companion. As Drago is owned by a fella from Brookhaven, Steve Bloxsicken. The Philly Fusion I name as Atmos, this as fusion made of atoms as ZS Crypter from RDK Gary's mod told me of the subject, Atmos, a mod added on Gary's mod, also some sort of Dolby Atmos, as I call as Atmos instead of Atoms. Washington Justice I name as Eagle because the city is capital of Americanas and the national bird is the bald eagle. Dallas Fuel have the name Fire as the Overwatch League eSports team logo contains some flame as flame means fire. Atlanta Rain being a nickname Hawk since the team logo contains a bird, and Chengdu Hunters giving the nickname Panda, this as the team name, well, you know what I mean, anyhow concerning the Panda I know, I met him at the hospital this morning. His condition somehow worsened as it's concerning the bladder subject. Not to mention Los Angeles Gladiators, giving the nickname Star because the LA have the Hollywood and Hollywood means movies and there are famous movie stars in Hollywood. This is the first match, next Tuesday at 1900 hours RDK being the Eagles and the Fire then at 2030 being the Atmos and the Stars, then at 2200 hours being the Sharks and the Dragos, and at 2330 being the Hawks and the Pandas. This as I need to fill in the empty cells concerning the dates and times on the Canberra calendar and the Alito calendar, also the times in KBT, EMT and TRX as I do note, the grand finals on the 25th at 2100 hours, 04.1 EMT, 0100 TRX, 0500 hours KBT, then to save the disk and cloud and print it off. Okay, this as it's saved the disk, and to the cloud just now and is being sent to the printer as I click print as it's now sent to the printer. I did not hear the printer. Must check into which printer I sent to. Yes, nice one. Let's get into the battle. Hold up. I hear the printer. Imposing game pause while I head to the printer fast. Hey Gad, I selected the wrong printer. That is the printer over at Rex Block Sizion's house. Switching printer sources to the main one. Status states it is ready as I to print it off and bam. I do hear the printer just now. Oh my god. Overwatch League 2021 playoffs. From the 21st to 24th and the grand finals at 21 hours 0 minutes on the 25th. First four matches on the 21st being San Francisco Shock vs Shanghai Dragons at 22 hours 0 minutes, Philly Fusion vs LA Gladiators at 20 hours 30 minutes, Washington Justice vs Dallas Fuel at 19 hours 0 minutes and Atlanta Rain vs Chengdu Hunters at 23 hours 0 minutes. Winning team goes to upper bracket, losing team goes to lower bracket. In the lower bracket, the losing teams in said match gets eliminated. This is I must program the DVR on the subjects at those dates and times.
Now, I must have to stop at McDonald's since Critter Diner is very busy for lunch also I am short on time to eat out. Here's your Aria McFlurry to go. Thank you for stopping by at McDonald's Cryptor City. Zenzi Cryptor, I do see my cousin Sean and my bro Rex and Mickey showing up now. Go say hi for me. How do they know? Did they spot my car? Maybe. This is in the past few days on the 17th. Rex Bloxizion told me of the Overwatch League playoffs to begin tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the evening as I to tune the radio to some esports broadcast as that to feature the OWL matches starting at 7 p.m. This as you must know the other events not related to esports. I am unsure but I may know the dates and times, evening on the 21st and 22nd? My watch chime has sounded, 1400 hours, anyhow it's the subject evening the 21st, in that case tomorrow evening being the new French Republican year of year 230, at 19.50 and 39 seconds, also to mark autumn equinox, then just a day after, the 22nd at 20 hundred hours to be the new elite octal season of number 124, or 174 in octal, and second half of Splix year 16, or 20 in octal. I knew it. Second half of the Splix year. I do recall on the DVR recording on January 2021, being the new Splix year even I was visiting Splix Hather World in KBE 0417, also to Elite City, Illitopia but sadly no McDonald's there, just their reveal Illito Burgers, as during the visit. I celebrated the new Splix year once the clock strikes 7 p.m. This translates to midnight universal time. This is I also note the street takeover car meet party at Canboard E Street. Anyhow, hope you have a nice dine at McDonald's, have a nice afternoon. You too Robert. Zenzi Cryptor, your colleague Bogey told me via messaging to tell you something important. This concerns Oliver D. Cryptor and Mickey R. Cryptor, they to head on a week-long trip after the 21 Pilots concert in which the concert to begin at 1900 hours, but they are unsure on where they head to. What are your options? Canbordi City is first option, second option being Pearl City, Peko Finassin Kingdom, third option being Xenopolis City, Xenopolia. Fourth being Webb Chesterfield, fifth being Hex City, Hex Topalia, sixth option is Pacifico on other end of Robloxian Federation, seventh being Rio de Blox and final option being Elite City, Federal District, Illitopia. I would choose between seventh and eighth option since I knew duty, Savage and Initial and Francis must be in Rio de Blox still as I haven't heard back from them in weeks, however in Elite City, the rollerball hockey tournament playoffs sure get cami attention as same as bogey, as I also have passion on soccer. The Latopian soccer playoffs has since kicked off as I to spectate some soccer. Now why is the 88 Vanta Zeta Space Wagon doing here at McDonald's parking? Wait a minute, this must be someone I know in which to deliver some important news. Hello. I am Ben, you know the fellow you met with? Yes, this concerns Glean. Yes, as I just got back from the hospital, to tell this tragic news, this as Glean has since died, as he passed away, as I am his older brother, as Glean died from some severe kidney failure and some problems to the heart and blood. Oh my god. Is it really true? Yes. Oh my god. I, Rex Bloxizion need to know when did the fellow pass away? This at midday, 12 o'clock, p.m. today, just two hours ago. This as I need to telephone Mickey, Oliver, and Bogey plus Cammy immediately. This as I to tell Mickey and, in fact, I'll be going on a trip too as I to tell the fellow from the RDK6, your cousin Chubby H. Crypter of the alarming developments, this as I, Mickey and Oliver to head to Elite City. But to go after the 21 Pilots concert as I also plan on a week-long trip there as I got my RDK mobile pack for the trip as I was originally to head across Robloxia. This is Irex Bloxizion also Bloxer and my bro Mickey and cousins Steve and Sean plus my friend Daniel Bloxter and his brother Michael and his cousins Ringo and Raymond also going for the trip also, as we to also head to Elite City for a week long trip. Correct, Rex, this is I Sean have the gear ready as with the other fellows. Stefan. Hello. I am Stefan, I am visiting Cryptor City for the day as I got my new bike to ride. You may know me, Zen Z Cryptor. Yes, I know you when I visit Rio de Blox. Do you have your Mercedes AMG hatch? No, I sold it to a friend of mine, as I got a new car, the 2022 Vera RS, E, ZH2. That is the same as my car, but a PHEV hydrogen fuel cell vehicle? Yes. There are hydrogen and electric charging stations popping up in Rio de Blox as I to get the new car. Stefan, that is the exact same bike as mine, 
Yes, anyhow I want to know to tell you as Zenzi Cryptor told me on FaceTime with Rex Bloxizion, to be four events, two being what I call, Excite, to be New Year related subjects, tomorrow, and the 22nd, in the evening, and one other being what I call, Gamer. Being one eSports tournament event tomorrow evening just over 50 minutes prior to the first Excite, event, plus the fourth in what I call, Musica, that is Spanish for music, being a concert at 7 o'clock, PM tonight, being 21 Pilots concert, that is 24 hours prior to the gamer subject and 49 hours prior to the second Excite subject. This is I, uh, to explain later since I see Dewey, Initial, Savage and Francis in Cryptor City right now. Anyhow concerning Arya, she's at a store doing shopping for me as I see her on her scooter. We are going to stop at McDonald's since I am hungry. Yes, we haven't got anything to eat for lunch yet. Yes, anyhow who will be treating us for lunch? Like who's paying? That will be me, as I will order via the touchscreen kiosks and pay on debit. Now, why do you chose McDonald's, and not Burger King, KFC, Subway, Taco Bell, even Crypto Diner? Crypto Diner is very busy at this hour. Okay, anyhow Taco Bell is like 500 meters that way and Burger King on the other side of the street from Taco Bell. I know but I need to find the nearest restaurant on the route. Okay, this is, wait a minute, why is there others at McDonald's? I do see the red wagon but unsure of which make and model. Yes, and this must be the RDK mobile beside. Hey Zenzi Crypto. Savage, Dewey, Francis, Initial, I hadn't got a hold of you since weeks. Stefan here, Initial, how's the restoration of the Audi Quattro went? The restoration went well, she roars like a lion. Savage, how much was it spent on the restoration? Not too expensive. It was close to being over budget but it's within budget. Yes, and it was well worth wait a minute, is this, oh my god. 1988 Avanta Zeta Space Wagon, come check it out. Well, it's in such decent condition even for a 33 year old car. That is like similar model year as my Interceptor. Yes, but my Audi Quadro is like 5 or so model years older. This is my Chevy Nova. This is my Chevy Nova is within the same model year decade, the 80s. Maybe one decade earlier, late 70s. Warning, the vehicle in subject have the aftermarket anti-theft security system with engine immobilizer and alarm, and it is locked. Once you attempt to open the door or bump at the vehicle, the alarm will go off, so beware. Who's the voice coming from? Me, Ben, the owner of the vehicle. This has my younger brother, Glee, has sick and died as I told ZenZ Crypto of the news once I arrived moments ago. Also Dewey, do also be careful on my mountain bicycle laying next to the vehicle, I don't want anyone bumping onto it, it may hit the vehicle and as Ben said, to set off the alarm as I do not want my new bike getting damaged as with scratches on that vehicle. Now, this is I, Rex Bloxizion, and my cousin Sean and my friend Steven Bloxton were on a four-way video call this morning with ZenZ Cryptor. Yes, Rex, this is there's going to be some events to occur in the week ahead. Kurit, Sean, this includes four of the subjects, one categorized in Musica, two categorized in Excite and one categorized in Gamer. Two New Year inspired events on alternate system, one eSports event and one musical concert. Correct, Stefan has I to grab my planner, and going to today's date, being the 20th of September 2021 as the current time is 1500 hours right now, 3 o'clock. PM as it's the new can boarding. 21st DP on KP16 as the time siren has went off at the RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Division Center headquarters at RDK Tower as that can be heard from McDonald's parking. Concerning the event categorized in music of being the 22 Pilots concert in fact in the next 4 hours at 1900 hours this evening, 7 PM as we head to the venue to spectate together well, duty, savage, initial and savage may go at their discretion. I am indeed going. Same as I. All right, this I Francis to head too. Yes, same as I, Savage as I to alert most of my other friends including Subert and others in the Roblox car community, but some may alert the fellas at the LTS, in which MTS. Harioka and Sares also intends to head to the concert but hadn't got a hold of them on the concert. Okay, you should get your cars ready as it'll be quite a drive, anyhow there to be one eSports event, being the Overwatch League 2021 playoffs to occur from the 21st to 25th, to occur in the evenings. This as I already sent you brochures in the past half hour. Matches start 21st at 1900 hours, 7 o'clock, p.m., 24 hours after the concert, with the grand finals at 2100 hours, 9 o'clock, p.m. on September 25th, 2021. This as you know back in 2019 and 2020 grand finals, 
San Francisco Shock took the Grand Finals. I wonder if it take this year's Grand Finals on the 25th as they to face Shanghai Dragons on day one. Based on the scenes, to be interesting. Then there will be two other subjects, categorized as Excite, being the two New Year events on the alternate systems, first event to occur tomorrow, the 21st at 19.50 or 7.50 p.m. and 39 seconds exactly, in conjunction with the Autumn Equinox to begin on the 22nd at 15.20, 3.20 p.m. To be the new French Republican year of year 230 of the revolution, as the calendar year starts on the day of the Autumn Equinox, as it divides the year into 12 months of 30 days with 5 or 6 days left over at the end call complimentary days as for this day, September 20th. 2021 being 4th complimentary day of year 229 being La Fête de l'Opinion or celebration of convictions or opinions, and tomorrow, as per time on the PMT, Parsi mean time as I call being 9 minutes 21 seconds ahead of universal time, in which is GMT, Greenwich mean time, now called UTC. Correlated universal time or Zulu time as the day to be being the 5th complimentary day of La Fête de Recompenses, or day of the rewards or awards. The final day of year 229 on the Republican era on the FRC is it to roll over to first the Vendemi era of year 230 as Vendemi era means vines and vines means grapes that is used for grape juice and wines. This as I have grape juice in my RDK mobile, as the day name called raisin or grape. The calendar began in use from late 1793 to 1805 and again in 1871 during the Paris Commune for two and a half weeks, close to two metri weeks, 18 days. In addition, they also used the decimal clocks back then as they used decimal time as day divided into 10 metri hours, each divided into 100 metri minutes, and each metri minute divided into 100 metric seconds, as each metric second is 0.864 second, or a Kino Choi in elite metric time. And one metri minute is 1 minute 26.4 seconds or a Dino Choi, 10 of these equal a Choi, and 10 Choi's or 2 hours 24 minutes equal 1 metri hour. The time system was implemented when the calendar was used from 1793 as it was no longer mandatory since 1795 but some locales continued usage until 1801. This is my great grandfather was visiting Parsi at that time, as they note the funky metroclocks, anyhow what time is it in such system? Since the time right now is 1504, being 1913 in PMT in conventional time, being after.800, being 801, so just a dozen metri hours to go, 120 choice. This being 1.2 days, multiply by 24, you got it to be kidding. 28 hours and 45 minutes. There's the car meet to occur at 7 p.m. tomorrow, the fireworks at the RDK tower will go off during the car meet at Crypto City. This as we have to move the car meet to Brookhaven, Pachifico or Savage City. I to be hosting the car meet tomorrow evening, we have to move it to Savage City. Good idea. Yes, you should consider moving the car meet away from Crypto City Metro to avoid disruption by the fireworks, as Bogey M Crypto to be mastering. Normally I to do it as I to be on a week-long trip. Anyhow this as the next day, the evening on the 22nd, at 20 hundred hours, 8 o'clock. PM to be the new Elite Octal season, and the new Splix half year of Splix year Duo KO, 2-0, or 16 in base 10, and EOS of Asset Exachi Quadio, 174, or 124 in base 10. The Splix calendar consists of a Splix week of 8 days and 4 of a Splix weeks of 32 days in a Splix month, as 2 Splix months or 8 Splix weeks equal an elite octal season as I call, as 2 of these equal a Splix season, 16 Splix weeks, 4 Splix months, 64 days, as 4 of these equal a Splix year. 512 days, 16 Splix months, 8 elite octal seasons, 64 Splix weeks. For timekeeping, they have the day divided into 8 parts into ashes, that is 3 hours, as 1 eighth of that I call it as is hoi, being 22 minutes 30 seconds, 1 64th of the achu or 1 eighth of as hoi equal a minote that equals less than 3 minutes. That is 2 minutes 48.75 seconds and each minote equals to 64 secot each of a little over 2.6 seconds, to be exact, to be 2636.71875 milliseconds this being on the Splix octal time, as the other system called Duo Splix time being the multiplier of two with time units of Achu. My note and Sekot being 90 minutes, 84.375 seconds, and almost 1.32 seconds. The most common epoch being the millennial being epoch of January 1st, 2000. Yes, the current Splix year starts on January 10th, 
2021 with celebrations at midnight universal time, in which the calendar system and timekeeping subject uses UTC and EOS Duotech, 200 in octal or 128 in decimal to occur on Monday June 6, 2022, the current date in the system, in octal being 201036 and EOD being 17335. That is 16, 8, 30, or 123, 61 in base 10 as for the current time. Just crossing into 6, 2, 8 splits octal time and 1, 4, 5, 7 dual splits time right now as the conventional time being. 1907 UTC, 1507 RDK, and Crypto City, 307 PM. This is I knew we were producing underground street racing TV back on January 2021 just a day before the new Splix year as we were doing street races, however, until the cops ruined the party, as we were forced to host the subject for the next day at an alternate location at 6 o'clock in the evening on January 9, 2021, before the races begin, once the clock strikes 7, the fireworks go off across Crypto City, not just RDK 3000 TriStar roadblocks but all of Crypto City even Savage City too, as we were forced to call it off due to the fireworks for the new Splix year. Yes, this is the following day, the evening on the 10th, where we're doing a third attempt, but then once we street race, the tornado sirens went off. We weren't aware of the weather conditions at that time. It suddenly rained hard. Wides blew past in presence of lightning and thunder as we saw a tornado heading to the area we host the meet. 150 kilometers south of Crypter City even there was an emergency alert on the tornado warning on the radio thus we had to scrap the idea for now and suspended us for the first attempt thwarted by the cops, second being ruined by fireworks and third interrupted by a tornado warning in a tornado. Yes, this as you must have took shelter at a nearby tornado shelter. As the storms also moved to Crypto City but a special weather statement at that time and thunderstorm advisory but no tornado nor severe thunderstorm watches nor warnings however winter weather advisory got issued at that time later on as there were thunder and lightning. Heavy rain and wind gusts of 70 km per hour changing to heavy snow as temperatures drop below freezing then tapering off to moderate snow an hour later before ending. Anyhow the other events being the rollerball hockey playoffs and the soccer playoffs as you must have watched the coverage on TV last weekend, this being the Latopian rollerball hockey playoffs 2021, EY1021 and the Latopian soccer tournament playoffs as we are going to head to Elite City. Illatopia as we go once my fellas Mickey R. Critter and Oliver D. Critter meet with me for a week long trip but we to head to the concert first then head to the Hyperloop station next, as Cami and Bogey to take over my duties. This is I know there to be OWL viewing parties at Digi Square Elitizat, also viewing parties of soccer and rollerball hockey. Yes, this as I to meet the winner of the Ella Tote Olympics. Yes, as I also need to meet with the soccer players of Elite City Firestorm in person. I do heard of Delta 6, I do need to check the store out. Yes, Ringo this as I Raymond need to check out El Alarma Cease, Alarm 6, as I check out the restaurant online last week. Michael Blockstar, what you be checking out during the trip? I am going to check out the updated sports arena section of the G Square Elite Toast it also to watch the OWL viewing party, also to check out the nightclub, ballroom and swimming pool in NYE Central. This is I, Stefan and Sean, Steve, and Rex Blocks is Eon also going to check out said subjects plus the jump pad area. This as I need to head to RDK 3000 Trista Main Bureau and alert Chubby H Crypto of the tragic developments over three hours ago, with authorization by the management. This as I to notify Ryan M Crypto and Milos Z Crypto of such request once we arrive as first stop to be the RDK 3000 TriStar Main HQ as you to follow the RDK mobile and I to call the Main Bureau. Thank you ZenZ Crypto. I do eat also with Savage, Initial and Francis will be staying here at Crypto City because we to host the car meet tomorrow at Savage City, then as we originally to host a car show on the 22nd but we have to move it to the daytime at noon due to potential fireworks for the Splicks half year at 8pm on said day, this is I know of the subjects, KBE 0417 being Splix Hathor World, in Ben 10 in the Canbor subjects, the reason they go optal because Splictions have 4 fingers per hand whereas we have 5 per hand. However if the fireworks to go off in Savage City for the new French Republican Jumbo during the car meet, I will raid into City Hall and yell at the mayor. Please don't, you'll get arrested as a result then spend some time in jail. Don't you think about it. I already talked to the mayor of Savage City last night 5, fireworks are not expected in Savage City for the subject, as that to be reserved for the 4th of July, also New Year on December 31st 2021 after 11.59pm for New Year of 2022. We must not forget on our yacht. Correct, this as we have to. Oh, I'd Arya during the trip, to check out several stores, even to shop if warranted, including Delta 6, and the one at the mall. 
However, to get the sweater I wanted, it's selling at the store at D6, it costs like 10 elios 50 elio cents, or about $23.65, get the large. Less than $25? Okay, not a bad price. While at it, go take some pics and send it to us. Okay, this is Zen Z Cryptor, Stefan, I, Rex, Steve and Sean to take pics and send to the four of you. Oliver D. Crypter, what book are you reading? Some book I found in the storage room. It's consist of such old book, from the 1921, concerning a suspense and scary novel, the plot in which in a fiction novel, written by Sarah Dinkley, spotlighting such mysterious event once they made a time machine and in the story, it states on the 21st of September, 1921 at 3 o'clock p.m. In the city as it determined to be 4 hours behind universal time they time traveled 100 years in the future to 2021 anyhow you should note the subject today compared to the author's view is very different this at 6 pm on the 21st of September 2021 in the novel the mega asteroid strikes earth causing a doomsday and end of the world as the planet explodes. The thing is, the time machine broke down after arrival as the crew raced to fix but it was too late. You mean the relatives back in 1921 missed the fellows? Yes. They were killed along with billions more in the novel, but take note it is fiction meaning events has not occurred in those of author's imagination. This as I can picture what it'll like in the RDK future view, in a what if scenario, if it were to happen, we would instead prepare for the end, as the ELG Game Jam Esports Mania Sigma 2021, EY 1021, to be cancelled, an elite city under a red alert and state of emergency. Same goes for Elitopia and of course in Robloxian Federation and Crypto City. On the said day and time, before the closing bell, global stock markets would plunge to zero, but in reality, it will not occur as there isn't to be such big event, for the next centuries to millennia.
This preceding video is a presentation of RDK3000 TriStar Video Studio Productions, an RDK3000 TriStar Video Studio Production. This has been an RDK3000 TriStar Video Studio Production presentation.